Alrighty, chat. Welcome, welcome. I almost, oh my god, I almost gonna do an intro to Exert, but you know, today's not Exert, today's try. It is me, Ratch. I'm uh, helping out Ace today. Since Ace is not present, so you know, I took the reins and uh, I'm gonna host uh, today. So yeah, uh, today we just got Topedo. Uh, so we're gonna start in a bit, you know. I don't have much, obviously, since. You know, classically, before the bracket starts and all that, we always uh, give last-minute check-in, uh, check sign-ups and all that. But, since we don't have that, only thing I have to do before I hand you off to my two commanders for today is the Matrino. So for everyone in chat right now, just, uh, you know, help the players out. Since we started a bit late, we don't have as much time to keep shilling it. So it will be... a uh, a real pleasure if just uh you know you went over to the link click those few buttons and claim the code help the players out since again at twenty dollars the price will get split into top two and yeah so you know i don't have much for the intro oh my god the players are going into it oh my god what the all right fellas uh why are the players going into it already it's okay <laughs> okay then I didn't even get a Welcome chance to, to head you off, but you know, take it over, fellas. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Well, you know, this is strife. Second with the second third with of I mean, it doesn't matter. We are already game and Pat is already putting Zando on the screen, but it doesn't matter. Well gaming. Hello, my name is that's I am here with Master and, and <laughs> thank you, thank the Formula 1 introduction, we're already going in with the double super, Punisher is going to be countering that orb, no way that's hitting me this patch, and has no mana in the corner, this is going to be super good ah. position for that, but first sending Punisher back to full screen. And man, already to a very explosive start, this is like fitting perfectly for us, don't you think, Lapsus? It is, certainly it is. But now, we have position Zando getting pressure, but oh, well, get swept boy, and now Punisher going hard, Tyrant Ray. Perfect. What a good back and forth between these two. Like the mana situation on Zando's side wasn't the best, of course, and Parachu was, of course, fully aware of that. So no breathing room at all, especially with Sin super, super good at not letting your opponent breathe at all. As we see immediately in this round, going very, very offensive. Has both players have a fair amount of resources? Zando with that burst, this kill could be very, very dangerous here right now. Lapsus, let's see how it's gonna turn out. Yeah. I know that is very dangerous. No mana for Zando. Has bar, has bar, has meter. But it doesn't matter if you have anything. Doesn't matter if you have no mana. You have no mana. <laughs> First game off to an insanely explosive start. Sin, Parachu, the dream combo, the meme dream hmm. team. And this is kind of sick just to see him stick with the same character for so, so long and making it work. Patch in and patch out, even when he was at the rock bottom, now we're here at the tippity top. Still making it work. It doesn't matter if characters are rock bottom. If you are good enough, you can make the character be good enough. 100%. Like, as an example, we see Andros, right? Potemkin, generally just seen as very low, uh, low tier, but Andros making it work week in, week out. But hey, we're here to see this match instead. Exactly. Like we're seeing Patasha right now putting good pressure on Zandos and already made the change of deck, changed everything else. So uh, already situated, but we said before, seen expert on putting pressure. Look at that situation. No mana has boost, but use expandingly. Absolutely. Trying to use a 2D just to be spacing out to get some form of read in the room. Parachu using that burst very offensively, super cleverly, just to keep that corner for himself. But no, Zando very, very good just to get out. And now it's a bit of a scramble in the mid-screen and Zando doing everything just to keep his defense. And look at this, finally some breathing room for the man. The wizard is finally going to be scrambling for some spells in the mid-screen. Really, really good job back and forth. Wow. And the IBFD just to finish it off. Yeah, good blocks there for Parachu. And now... Tries to get the opening, Arsis, oh no, still getting counter hit there. Half bar of boost, but that's going to be to no avail, you're going to get cubed. Yep, he is getting cubed. How did that not break the wall? 
Good question, actually. Sorry, I was uh, I just got a notification, so I have to check that real quick. But now also, we see Palacio in this situation time in and time again. This set, super, super comfortable in this position, just putting the pressure on Zando. And look at this bait, where it's going to be a wall break. And fantastic situation for Palacio with the hard knockdown. Almost no mana for Zando. This is looking very dire, unfortunately. Certainly it is, and now it's going to be breaking in a moment. There it is. There's the break, RC. That's... That's fine. That's easy. That's easy. At this point, it's easy for you. That's a perfect, even though. 1-1 one, one on the round counter right here. Zando trying to take on a more defensive position. Never mind, just as I say that. Look at that. Got a 2-6-B. The cube killer already in the corner like this is not looking good for Zando at all. The full combo is going to be here with the super iron barrel. Perfect. And no mana. Well, just look at this. Yeah, he has no mana. And now Zando, he has to pray to not get any hit. Has boost. Okay, but you want boost for offense right now. Still, good opening onto that pool. Yeah, once again, there's the cube. This time he's going to break it. Really, really good stuff from the safe jump. I'm gonna stay the corner immediately, but watch out. Parachute does have that DP always available to himself. Has that meter, tries to go for the 6k. PRC just immediately to the corner with that grab tech. Super good. Oh my god, what a hard call out on that back throw into the corner. And this is gonna be the trying to go for some form of advantage with those cubes. I mean, that's not cube, that's a risk. That's already to the power of 16 or more. <laughs> then get the medics. One, oh, TP and punish the DP. I will just assume that that was intentional because it is Zando. That was absolutely nuts. Trying to bait the DP doesn't have any other option than to, like, you know, make it seem like it's a safe jump. Low parachute into a false mm -hmm. sense of security, you know? You gotta pay attention to those cards, man. If if he has teleport, he's gonna be using that. Uh, I mean, it's difficult enough to pay attention at the the mana gauge, the card mm. that is available, and how many cards are in deck, and how many cards have we already seen. Mm, absolutely, absolutely. I don't think any of us are professional card counters. No, absolutely not. But I can pretend that I am, you know, especially now that I'm a commentator. <laughs> even even people like myself that play fucking card games can't even uh -huh. see. Oh yeah. He has, a, he has already used everything when you are this close. No. If you're playing card games, you have enough time to check everybody's graveyards and say, Yep, yeah, everything is already used. Perfect. We can ball. Not in this situation. <laughs> yeah, it is interesting because this whole mechanic is a minigame off its own. I mean, this is just 1-1. One, one. Anything can really happen because these players are very adapt, like very adaptive, especially in this matchup, because it feels like both of them have played each other very, very much. So it's more of a, you know, player matchup than a character matchup at this point. But we see Pachu checking those cubes very, very consistently in a very, very good manner, actually. Exactly, but now Zander would pressure for him to, to burst relatively early on, but still, oh, beautiful punish there. That's going to be leading to a lot of damage, Marston, and I don't fancy being in Patachu's shoes right now. Absolutely not. This is going to be a fair amount of damage. Not too much, because it is still Asuka. Not too much, you know, in total damage and average hit. But with that teleport cross-up, just going to be a finishing touch. Just a simple love tap to finish the round off. What are we playing? Marvel right now? Or, or, or Dragon Ball? Or any of these kind of games? Because that's not something that we are used to <laughs> Absolutely not. And look at this, Zando looks completely renewed. Just had to have some form of calibration. That first was always just download, you know what they say. Mm. Look at you, they in the corner, amazing position. Actually manages to bait that, and this is just already the match. That was a proper speed run. Oof, that you lingering long enough to render yep. that boost completely useless. Because Damn! It, is, it feels like, you know, since you are playing with that lingering cube, there's no reason for you to really, like, go super offensive, because that hitbox is already on screen, it already is going to be hitting Padachu, right? So if you burst, if your opponent bursts and you're not ready for it, and if, if you made a mistake of hitting, but Zando was very, very aware of both of their resources, and of course, cubes, circles, mathematics... Things. Things, exactly. Areas, diameters, dimensions. And I am not joking. Ma dimensions are a thing in math. Absolutely. Oh. 
And if I have done some engineering level math, will will say, dude, why do you want to remind me of this? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And it feels like to play Azaga on this sort of level as Andal does, and with the dedication, it feels definitely some form of engineering math. But still, if you want to be playing against Azaga as well, you've got to do some form of higher, like, psychic read to get this sort of yeah. thing. Hard knockdown on the other side of the screen, there's going to be a hard, or sorry, safe jump, but no, immediately goes for the 2k, just into the pressure, and this is going to be it! Yeah, it was easy, immediate. Recognizing that Zando has, no, has completely no mana, therefore, one hit kill. Per hit, it was enough to pull the trigger, but now, once again, that is good offense, putting already, but Zando on the other side of the wall, three defense, still having enough mana to be a lot but doesn't matter. Contact it again, and oh. then, again already. Least, yeah, and the amount of perfect hits on the end rate, beautifully done. Mm, absolutely. Parachu sitting on a comfortable amount of resource, doesn't have full burst, but still does have that meter and almost got that full burst. Blocks the 6 age from Asuka. And again, the tap does block the completely 6k just to keep on the pressure from Zando. Manages quite a hit, but the burst is going to be resetting the positions. Look at that meter for Parachu's side. Look at that already. All resources available, therefore, only needs one spark to start it off, and there is your spark. We are immediately going for the Titan Raid. The awareness, so the verse just goes for completely burst safe options. Not many left, but supers just removes your ability to burst completely. And this, this has been, this is 2-2, two, two. like already, this is supposed, I, I guess it's going Formula 1 speed. Exactly. People are saying, okay, it's already kind of late enough, let's, let's go and speed run everything, we want to... <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know what happened, what they took right before this, but it feels like they've been fiending to get that stream spot, and definitely they're both showing off more than enough. I mean, come on, like, aren't you entertained? Oh, you entertained? Oh my god! Exactly, hit him, hit him with those, with those uh, older ass references. But anyway, we're back again. Yeah, back again, but... I'm bad at you, already forcing... Having a boot for but get the grab, go for that pressure and Zando tries to jump it up, gets the report out, good job on the O, 60 there, let's see that pressure lingering cube, and oh gets completely open, super cube. Seems like a simple situation, but still does still have that DT, has some form of burst needed to get that orange ball as well. Has that DP, PR, a DPRC, but still Zando oh, keeping on those cubes that we've seen from day one Asakas. This is super, super oppressive. Just throws out those two Ds, but man, Parachu is on point. Yeah, but there's a block that in Rave, and uh, yeah. That, that was a, a little bit too much 50 50 for my days right now. <laughs> Zando's the one that, that is on round point. Oh that's... my god. Good stuff with that Hawk Baker. Or sorry, Big Driver. Big just going through those cubes, uh, because that is super, super good just to throw out the hitbox against Zando's cubes. Managed to come up with the six, 6k, but no, Zando just wants to reset, doesn't want to get the mana loss at all, because, you know, Oscar's in a dangerous situation when that happens. Exactly, your defense drops considerably. But hey, this now, but oh, but to check it and get the contact RC, yeah, this is going to be a clean kill. Is it? And okay, it's maybe. No, it's not. <laughs> Mana shield! Mana! Them mana! And now it's on Patachu not to choke it. Has enough bar to leave, go to for a reflection if needed. RC still blowing up. Maybe we go to game 5. Well, I already look at what, what is this called? Tell us, remind us, Lapsus. Yeah, it is a fucking problem, Luigi, man. An important part. Both players already tied up in boost, boost gauge. Let's Still good enough to play. I don't know. My screen is frozen. My stream is dying on my end. <laughs> don't worry about it. They're in the corner position. Zando hasn't left this position at all. But never mind. Just as I say that, a commentator's curse pulls in. And Paradis gets that wall break. Not the clean hit, but doesn't matter. Hard knockdown on the other side is super good. Tries to go for the gold <laughs> burst, but no punish because that's only minus two, man. Okay, but still, oh, good return on the tele on the teleport right, right now. Zando trying to get there, but. Beautiful big driver gets the RC, we're going to go for the for the full sequence. My, my screen is forcing up against your mountain. You're, you're 
This is super close because, oh, just goes for the wrong swoop and just to create some distance between them. Tries to DP but doesn't have the lingering and vulnerability. Unfortunately, goes for the grab. This is an insane situation for both of them. You do notice that. No way. Does this kill? I don't know. You tell oh me. Oh my god. It's frozen, it's frozen on myself. What? Are the, are the, are the lightning? What's happening? Right it's the lightning. Fucking... Zombo punishing the first hit as you should with a quick 2p, just a love tap on the knees. Minus frames after the first hit of Ride the Lightning. Good stuff from both of these. And this was just... Oh my goodness, what a first set it was to introduce us to the stream. And finally, you can see our beautiful faces. Of course, hello, it's me, Master, and right next to me. I don't know which side. Is Lapsus. Uh, I think I am... If, if I am looking at the stream, I am, the, I am on the right <laughs> side here on the left one. But yeah, hey, hello there. We exist. We are not someone that's talking to you through the internet and has no face. We do have faces. We do have some faces, yeah. And this next match? Oh my goodness. I've been kind of looking forward to it. I've been wishing this to happen and it actually did happen. It's going to be Solid versus Sechi. And Solid, of course, a staple, I think, in the Golovich community, especially since, you know, I, he's all, he's my, like, neighbor. Like, I, I got a root for him, I'm a bit biased. But Sechi is no slouch as well, like, just uh, only a few off flies. And I think even at EVO got the um, ninth place last year, if I'm not completely mistaken. He, like, he ran so far up the bracket, it was kind of insane just to watch that. Nice. So, we have a, an exciting game. It's going to be called Gold Lewis versus mm. the last remnant of Zado One. Yeah. I still think, like, in the correct hands, of course, you have to be working really hard for Zando. Oh, or sorry, not Zando, Zato. <laughs> I'm, I'm mixing up my names. There's too many Z's in, in the community. Yep. But still, you have to be working very hard with Zato because that that character actually got some nerfs, like, pretty hard nerfs. And I think Sechi's definitely the man to do it. Dual one. But we'll see. Good. See, right now, Sachi trying to buy some speed and out, and now goes for that pressure, wood blocks on solid side. But still, oh! First attempt to get out is stifled, the drone is going there, and machine is going there. I am, uh, I, I am booting up, right? Absolutely, don't worry about it. I'm gonna keep the audience entertained. Sechi absolutely doing a really, really good job at managing the enemy meter until getting the wall break. Has the super nice, super nice awareness to get the reset when you need it the most with the uh, sword super. Wire C just to remove Eddie. Good stuff. You have full burst bar just to get the wide wild assault. Full screen tries. Oh my god, like this is super, super good. Tries to go for some form of break the law just to get that wide wild assault in vulnerability. Yeah, but Sechi playing beautifully. Mm -hmm. Evading everything that Soling is trying to throw at him right now, good pressure on the corner. Samba just to keep it going and yeah, just going for that chip kill. Goes for round number two and this is this feels definitely like an um like a, a adapting phase for solid. You just need one good hit to get in on Zato. And but Sechi is playing this super super well just to get that uh, solid off of him. That flight, even though it is nerfed, Sechi is using that insanely well. I mean, it's Next. what you have to do. You don't want to be with Gold Lewis putting gunning down your face. You just want to keep mm. your distance and then for it. Absolutely. Oh, goes for a laser super just to close the distance. This is going to be some interesting... Oh my god, actually gets the hit. It's super dangerous for Sechi now. Just goes for the... Oh my goodness, this is going to be a lot of damage. And good night, Zato. Man, like, if you get... Like, that was super super good awareness from Solid because you didn't want your opponent to be wire, uh, using YRC. That's this guard crush from the Behemoth Typhoons getting... Uh, you can't YRC that, so it's super, super nice from Solid. Oh, that's just disgusting noise. <laughs> JD still being an amazing poke from Goldwiz might just be his best poke in general. Okay. Maybe I know. Oh, Solid gets the opening to the phones. Already breathing down the neck of Sechi. Still blocking, but how much longer can you still block? Oh this? my god. Oh my god. I was silent for that whole sequence because I just want to see a master at work. 
And that pressure was not. I am so. No one is getting out of that. <laughs> no one. There are some limits that the human body can't go over, and that's one of those. Oof, just going like it seemed like this was Sechi's game first, but you know, like Golo just needs one good hit and then he's already in. And Solid didn't actually use White Ball so like almost at all. I think it was just one. Okay, never mind. As soon as I say that, there's no way. <laughs> I'm trying to defend you, Solid. Come on. It's a classical one. You don't, you can say that they are not going to do something, and then immediately they start doing that. How did this happen, man? Oh, Solid, listen. Like I'm, I'm looking out for him. I'm like, no, we're not carried by White Well, it's all. It's fine. And he immediately just goes round start. Oh, deflection. Just trying to get Eddie out of there, but doesn't matter. Sexy still gets the opening. Some boy to keep it going and break it. Eddie's full, and that pressure is going to be hard to get. Over and that. Nice. This is. I want to say a like, good shit set sheet, but man, this is like this. Anything can happen still. So I just need two good hits on this already next game. Like Sechi still going on a very very good offense, managing the Eddie meter super well. Look at that canceling just immediately right before you run running out, so you get that super super quick uh, recovery. And look, even before the burst. Cross up connect. Oh, beautiful counter hit up the two. H. And now, Solid onto that corner. Sechi. Oh, there's the opening. Go for the reset. Still another opening. Another reset. Now, this time, going to break it. Yeah, Sechi does have a lot of resources and just in this situation. It's kind of a checkmate for Zato, even though he is nerfed. Clap doesn't take too much Eddie Gage, so you can just continue to do that for however long you want. And he did have meter, Sun Void is there, Amogus is there. Felt like a super, super good adaptation from Sechi. Really, really good stuff. Exactly, beautifully done. Because it is what you have to do. You have to play in a way that you are not allowing your opponent to be playing anything. It's kind of... Sus because we love seeing people play and express yours themselves. But when you're talking about Go Lewis, yeah, <laughs> sorry, you are not playing. Okay? Nice 2P just immediately burst to get Gold Lewis off of him and super good burst to just try straight into the corner. Ops to keep the corner position with that Eddie Gage super super nice. Is it gonna reset? No, it just goes for all in with the oppose. A nice wall break, gonna get the Sun Void as well. Like look at his resource management management for Sechi. Like I I kinda getting jealous here, what? It, everything is perfectly done. But this time solid. Not even level 3 drone can break Sechi's wall. Oh, but oh, I just a behemoth typhoon can, can, man. <laughs> Why do I talk? Yes, there it is, the land councils, man. There they are, the secret Golowis tech. Man, like, y'all aren't ready when people actually get this on, um, like, consistently. Ooh, we. Oh my god, like, that's XP, hello? Yeah. 6P, hello. At Polisia, what is happening right now? But uh, once again, somebody break that wall. Open is still rocking a good amount of boost, which means that mm -hmm. everything can be done well, except, well, solid, boosting out. Like, I I do love Golovir so much, and I hate Zato, but like I gotta I gotta give it to Sechi because he's doing so well. And just as I say that, gets the burst baited, immediately goes for the Oki overhead, oh. goes in low, and this is just death. It is, it is, both, both times, Sechi not blocking where you should be blocking, as you know, oh. block up, 90% of the time, Balloon is going to go for the overhead, <laughs> that and was, you know true. I, 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 will, I will say, like, there, were, there, were, there was some tech right there that I'm, like, I do love seeing Alois's use, and it is difficult to see where Golos is gonna be. It is like quote unquote reactable, but in the heat of the moment, it like yeah. anything can really happen. Reactable even if you, like listen, even if you block, it's still Golos you're blocking. Yeah, I know, I know, it's still Golos, but technically reactable, which is <laughs> wink, wink. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> 
like no don't get me wrong everyone anyone who thinks i'm not playing golo is like this character is disgusting but like it's just impressive to see uh as someone who also plays golo is just to see some of the tech that i myself can't do and just see solid do so effortlessly but anyway enough with the golo is glazing we're here for the round or sorry match number four between these two players and super super good back and forth already set you in that comfortable position on the corner position like super super good hard knockdown after the blue wild assault and now already in the offense lapses look at this yeah we are seeing prime zato one gaming oh beautifully done that should uh, <laughs> not kill me because it was already being escalated quite a lot <laughs> but still oh classic clap some more clap for me <laughs> Oh! This goes for the Hail Mary, gone in the end, and Sechi running under the JD, just finishing off with a 5P quick. But remember, like this is so interesting because Sechi looks like looks like he's winning the whole game, but then just one situation and it's solid game just immediately like that. Certainly. But now, oh, this time there we go. Connects and Sechi. I'm sorry, but you're kind of in the way. Oh. That was a level one, so no hard knockdown, but still. Oh, Sechi, good advances, gets the command grab again. We are going to be seeing the RC to punish it. Yes, it is, we are seeing that. And Brexit with that blue. Hard knockdown, this is a very similar situation as we saw last round. Sechi is very comfortable just to keep his distance because they don't really want to take any risk with Goldo is on the defense. Goes for the burst because he can't really do anything. Drone is out level 3, so any sort of hit is going to be hard knockdown. But again with that flight, he's so good at evading that drone in neutral. Like man, like Sechi is yeah. super, super good in this matchup. I mean, it's one of the big advantages the fact that, yeah, you are just chilling up there because, well, you can. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Even with the nerf flight, uh, I, like Sechi is utilizing it very, very, very good. Like, very good timings. Yeah. Because it is a bit more difficult, like, let's be real. And Zato mm. needs most of the help he can get, especially now. <laughs> In this kind of matchups. Absolutely, absolutely. Because that's the whole thing, like, if we're just gonna go off, like, the opinions of pro players and high tier players, like, from what I've heard, Golubis, quote unquote, is winning against Zano. Mm -hmm. But if you're just a good player, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. When we get to the point that we are technically have to use the pro, the more professional players' opinions mm -hmm. on on things is that we already far far off. But still at our our level, each player versus player character exactly. can be damned. Exactly, exactly. If you're good at the game, if you're winning, you're winning. There's no way around that. Exactly. Oh, the jump H still doesn't work for Zato. That bottom is super, super good. Goes for the double overhead into the corner position, but Solid has to be bursting that. Like, it's so painful to see every time Solid tries to burst just to get out of a situation and then get back in again just a few seconds later. Shows the show, shows how good Sechi is in this matchup and controlling the pace of the match in general. Now we are seeing Sechi putting the, the pressure of all the ones that we haven't seen in a good way because no one is playing Zato or, or those they say but still good command grab and yeah one poke that perfectly done as the game says like those seven letters it's never fun to see those in any sort of game like not just guilty guess drive but man, look at these mixes just in the mid screen even with that weakened eddy and combo nice goes for the burst but someone is just gonna nullify anything Solid wants to do in this situation. And the goes for the overhead 6 scale up to this is not looking good for our finish boy. Certainly not all oh, the contact is the second part is that Sechi does not, but there we are. I laser they were breaking the wall because we are going under that. And now solid one hit and yeah, that's Oof. not something that you can recover from. Yeah. Damn. The use of break the law there to just say, yeah, beautiful super. How about I'ma skip that? Yeah, I mean, even even when break the law was nerfed after the summer patch because you can't, uh, you could break the law against bursts before summer, but then they nerfed that so burst is actually 
Like you, you knock Zato out of the out of the shadow realm, you know. But still, anything else, you can just stay in the ground for. And this was a master, master class in showing how just to keep Golo with where you want because it's not easy, especially not this patch with that white wild assault. Or like you mm. saw that you saw it yourself. Like everyone was here and saw the exact same match play out. It was just pure, pure masterclass from both players actually. Solid still had really, really good defense and capitalized on a lot of hits, but Sechi just didn't give a lot of chances either. Certainly, but now we have another Zato player because it is going to be Shinki. Okay, and who? It seems, it seems the other like, one. It, Tell us. Yeah, and the other one, the one, the only Mr. Pog Buster himself. The representing the Frisia Nation. Um, yeah, it's no, no, I'm not joking. Free for that. Mm -hmm, the Andros. Interesting though, second Zato in top eight. I'm a bit surprised because you know, how, however people are talking about this character it seems like unplayable. But even then, even still, we got some champions in EMEA. Super good at this character as well. Like there's no nothing to scoff at. But speaking of good at characters that quote unquote should be bad, Andros is here as a champion. As he said, Pop Plus the champion. There's no other way around it. My man is tearing it through every single bracket. True, true, true. But now what are you saying? Oh Shinki putting Andros through that face is no no slacker is going to save you right now then. Andrews, I'm sorry, but no, we are not going to need that blue <laughs> car knockdown and Shinky going through that faces. We are going to poke in there, poke in there, and oh, Potem can use that. <laughs> Yo, quick work, like both Shinky and Sechi making this character look like it's still top tier, like super, super good. Let's go to the rock, six speed count hit means the hard knockdown and do make meaning also. Zara can do whatever he wants, and this is gonna be a wall break, especially hard knockdown. Other side of the screen, you can do anything you want. Eddie's still up there, but still, you still have some form of, you know, space control with Zara against Potemkin. Certainly. I mean, I can't remember exactly the nerf to Zato, but if they only nerfed mobility, everything else is, thing, is, is mm. still. But <laughs> and just like that. Okay. Uh, that's, that, that's going to, to kill. No way. Probably not, but... That, that was way too hit. close, well, man. That was from one interaction. Do I need to remind you of anything else? No way. <laughs> Please box in the chat. <laughs> I can only stay quiet for moment, moments like those, like... Yo! That was nuts. That was almost like the clip of the year, right there. That was uh, something like that situation. Damn. Like, my heart is already racing, like, this top eight. Like, what, what are these sets, man? These are so good. Like, if we, if this is going to be keeping up for the rest of the top eight, like, we're in for a very good evening together. Yeah, we are for a treat. We are in for a treat, sir. Completely no. Oh, oh punish. Set. Oh, see, Shinji is going to eat one Potekin Buster. And he's already on to that corner. Not something that you want to be. Never. Okay. Blocks the dust. But the pursuit is still mounting. Okay. One, two hits. But, yeah, you are not going to be... Enjoying your stay there. Oh my god. This is relentless. Like, he really doesn't need to do anything other fancy than that. Just goes for the strike, strike, strike. But never mind, Shinky is all gonna maybe pull it back. This is a hard knockdown, a super good situation for Zato. Got that BRC and the super on deck, but no! Andros is ready! Beautiful, <laughs> on there, oh. beautiful grab. Uh, but now Shinki is the one that gets the pressure, gets the grab, gets the burst of Andros. Oh, oh, just go for the heat knuckle. I don't know, that was an interesting <laughs> decision. But hey. Something. Is this actually gonna work? No. Oh, wait, what? I, I don't know how many hits are amor amorphous, but I think more than two. Oh? Nice, YRC, just to get Eddie away. 
good jump just to avoid the Gar uh sorry the uh you know actually garuda impact never mind oh <laughs> hold l real quick <laughs> yeah i mean the range of some of the buttons are nothing to be scoffed at no absolutely speaking uh, of range look at this <laughs> he's dead no stop beating him he's already dead <laughs> Because, man, those pot bastards get, getting, like, almost half bar. Half life bar out of any mm. character. Well, not all, not all of those. You know that against yeah. more... More gutsy characters, not, but damn. Those hurt. Mm, exactly, exactly. Zaro doesn't really have too much breathing room, as you said. Not too, not too many guts. Zero, in fact. And so <laughs> Exactly, super super low on both of those parameters. So if you're already low, you cannot be really playing too much. No. Oh! Six peak all the hit there. Immediate boost you had to, but no. You, the, that's your only choice. You want to get something, but no. Boost of Andros. And, oh, the beautiful air movement there. Evading the Mega Fisto. And now, Shiki, is your time. Oh, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Commentators curse you all, you had to, you had to, you had to mess it up, man. It's in our DNA. True, actually, it happens every single time. But look at this super good combo into the hard knockdown. Easy stuff, just easy breezy, goes for the next overhead. I don't know if... That was dangerously close. <laughs> the fact that you can do... Heavenly pot, and then still get out of a sticky situation, it's impressive. Mm, absolutely. Okay! Nice combo, fair amount of damage even on Potemkin, but now you unfortunately don't have too much resources. No Eddie as well. Hard knocked up from the White Wildest of this is gonna be interesting. BRC! But that YRC oh. saving him. Antion with the 5P, good stuff. This is going to be a hard knockdown. Interesting situation. Goes for the strike throw after this one. Another Garuda. This is going to be a lot of damage lapses. Yep, oh. it's going to be a lot of damage. Is this just death? Almost. Oh, oh gold boost for Shinky. Let's see if we can take full advantage of this situation. There's one Sambot getting the chip. Yellow out of Andros and just tap dust. And Andros is posing herself 2-1 on this, mm -hmm. on the round. Good job on his head and them. Uh, this is also unfortunately in loser side, so whoever loses this set is unfortunately going to be saying goodbye to, the, to their salty run, but still top 8 is no easy feat when this bracket and this tournament is being this stacked week in and week out. This is just a testament yeah. to how good these players are, especially like, we have two Zalos and one Potemkin. Like, that, like, these players are really, really, really good to push these characters this far. Exactly. They are some of the best of the best of the best of, of the scene right now. And now, Anders, good rounds are. Oh, misses on, on the hit knuckle, but doesn't matter. Well, for a moment. Oh. Yo. <laughs> a bit of a giant situation, the back man face going for the plus frames, but Amogus is going to be with punishing that far slash. <laughs> Never mind! Oh, almost trying to go past Amor Amorphus. Hey, it's like head is going, going to get the, the knockdown. Let's see, let's see the Oki, Garuda, and the second one is going to hit the four. There it is, one pot buster. Let's see the follow up. Oh, it's going to be one of the big ones. Ops is keep that white wall of look burst for other situations. I don't know if that is against Eddie or something else, but that burst might just be coming handy for other things. <laughs> Immediate the friend that the Shinky landed, that was the, the heavenly. Well, the regular one. Oh my god. I'm in tears every time. I'm, I'm falling to my knees every single interaction Andros has with someone else because it's every single time it's something new. <laughs> Are now damn tap dash connects. Up there we're going one two Garuda. Let's see if Shink is going to enjoy this pressure. 
Another Garuda, six. No. He go for the shield, gets completely blocked, and now Shinky, let's see if he can mount a comeback. Has the meter too throw out the sunboard or something else that you want to but the go oh goes for the just tap us i don't think this will be enough damage even for the wall break but also up to stay for the corner eddie is back the offense is going to be relentless but andros just has to block this out Ooh, the the mad lad finds the only one that was presented and says hold my arepa there's your potent game buster and andros is going to be a bashing three to one Damn. But here's the but do you know the, the, the other big damn there is? You know who's uh -huh. going to be facing Andros? <laughs> it's going to be solid. Oh my god, that is unfortunate. It's, you know what is fortunate, Lapsus? I think we forgot him on a very important thing. Please do remind us. Oh yeah, we have some good match in the codes that need to be claimed. It's important for all of you to go there and claim some codes. We already claimed like 21 codes. Beautiful Donerio, the perfect Moi, Chef Kiss. We still have 29 codes left. And let me check how many people is on chat. Uh, a lot more, a... right? A lot yeah. more. We have 100 people watching. Counter claim card, bro. <laughs> you can log in with whatever you want. You have a battle net, go. Facebook, go. A Gmail, go. Twitch, Twitter, anything you want. Just log in, claim codes, it's free. A few clicks away and it every single dollar and cent is going into the prize pool for the players. So you're helping the community actively by just clicking this. I'm even gonna emerge from the shadows. Oh. To shield Ooh. match, you know, you, you all better claim the codes. We still have <laughs> a lot of codes left. And again, I already see people claim I didn't claim one myself. See how easy it is? There you go. I just claimed one while I was shilling. See how easy it is? Few clicks. <laughs> so again, yeah. chat, keep it up. Thanks for claiming them. We're both halfway through. We're halfway through. And mm. we are missing roughly, so that's eight ish, eight, ten codes, ten, ten, ten codes, something like that, to get to get top two payouts. Since you know, past twenty dollars, we get a top two payout. So, yo, we got the two dollar contribution as we're talking. Hey, thank you very much. So right now we are at eighteen dollars, and oh my god, we're almost past nineteen. Eighteen dollars ninety five cents. Yeah. more people keep. Yeah. Keep claiming those codes, got more people doing the good job that, that it was done. 1920. Okay, okay, keep claiming, keep claiming. We are in a good streak of 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 claiming some codes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just like that. Keep claiming them, you know, keep it going again. We might have to wait a bit for Tiger since he said it might take a second. Mm -hmm, so, you mm -hmm. know, we're gonna take the time right now to keep reminding you to claim a code. And I also yeah. hope that, you know, all of you are having a Good day, since you know the top eight has been banging so far. Mm, mm, mm. We saw a good uh, character variety, I gotta say. Like it's uh, yeah. surprising. We get what Potemkin, two Zados. Uh, what else did we had? We had a Gold Lewis. Uh, and we had yes. Asuka and, then, and Sin. And Sin. Yeah. Uh, uh, and now we're gonna get, I assume, HC and Biken. So not bad. I think it's a good... Of... Yeah, it's a, it's a good variation, actually. Yeah. And having, like, the only multiple being Zato, like, that is a bit surprising, actually. That yeah. is surprising. It is the surprise, too. Right. Tiger appeared... Oh, my God. Ty wait. No, no way this is true, right? Tiger nah, has the Kai, not. but he's definitely swooping. No way he's going to stay on the Kai. Yeah, there you go. Is he actually... Okay, no, nah, no, 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 no. He's on the HC. HC. <laughs> he's on the HC. He's on the HC. Every time he says on Twitter, he's like, I'm sticking to HC. Next time yeah. you see him on an online, he's like, <laughs> yeah. no, I'm, play I'm playing Golos or something. I mean... We all know that Tiger is the one, is the one player that will do anything that can that can be done, and and if he can also troll people, yeah, add that. True, right. actually. Take it over. I'm merging into the shadows. Absolutely. Once again. Nin but... Ninja disappearing into the <laughs> into the tree line. Yeah, such a trope that's already been overused. Please refresh your jokes. The word about it. <laughs> No! Who skipped that? That's such a sick intro. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But that's shame on you. But since 
people already ru so really skip that the intro we are gaming which means that happy cause is putting on a shooting gallery yeah the tiger pop still even with this character being as nerfed as he is tiger pop still putting on a show everywhere he goes and i think honestly tiger pop's playstyle is gonna shine through with these nerfs yeah like a oh. Yeah, and just Tiger being a solid player definitely helps. Like, he's just really good at the game. Yeah! It's what, it, it's what, it's what I keep saying. Your character is shit. Get good, bro. Exactly, and he just got good. Like, even though Happy Chaos has been at the top this whole time, like, his fundamentals are just insane. His defense is on point, even if he just needs to block. And look at this, just goes for the BRC. Air throw has to bait Ooh. something, but the 6P on the cover, good stuff. Yeah. Oh, but no, uh, one more opening, yeah. L let's get the, let's get the Deus Ex Machina and let's get Tiger that first point. And with a, ta with a perfect, no less. Under mm -hmm. Tiger and Turtle Pop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a two favorite players, yeah. <laughs> I end up... I am not getting paid enough for that. <laughs> We're not getting paid at all. <laughs> but the joke is easy. Oh, 100%. So that, that 1 0 felt really like way too fast. Like, Turtle still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, it felt like both of these players were super aggressive and tried to get something working really fast, but Tiger was so sharp on defense, it was kind of nuts. Oh, with the color switch as well. Look at this. Yeah. Let's see if it changing color into a more edgier version is going to, to help Turtle mentally because right now it, it was running on that still for, for no reason. Oh, good hit, good, good start, good start, but forcing Tiger's push. Okay, good hit, beautiful. Beautiful, that's how you should do that. Oh. <laughs> No kill, unfortunately, even though that super does a fair amount of damage. The scaling was too much, but hey, run off TKOs on some of the classic that's been here ever since Biken was released. And it's definitely not going anywhere because that is uh, just an instant overhead that you have to always be taking into consideration. But still, exactly. we move on. Yeah, we move on on to Turtle getting that tether and going a good combo on Tiger Pop. This time he's going to block the instant overhead, but could not block that also, but boost out of Tiger. On the barry! What? Okay. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Okay. Go on. Yo, that color switch, that was, I, I guess that was a secret tech. It is the tech. It is the tech. 100% confirmed. Yeah, and the color 10 is always the, the, the different factor. Always always color 10, even though I think it was color 7 on bike and that I prefer. Oh, the purple one? Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. got you. Let's go straight into it. Tiger Pop staying with his telltale Ronald McDonald the color scheme. Goes against the turtles as color 10 with that goth bike end, but still maybe it's the color difference because it did work well, really, really well for turtle. Has to burst here just to get some breathing room bike and just relentless. Turtle is a super, super good off offense. I haven't seen tur too much of turtle, but man, like, I, I kind of have to pay more attention on this. Oh my goodness. It certainly is. And uh, before that, you know who really is right now? Yeah, I see that. One. I see that. The only, the only foul that's been played this game. I I hope yeah, I am wrong. <laughs> but still, thank you, Shrug Nation, Juxtaposer. Welcome to the stream, and thank you very yeah. much for the raid. Oh my goodness, big support every single time you're here. Thank you, thank you. I didn't know this time, Tiger punishing that tether, and now he's going to get a free combo out of there. Then the power of the tether is immense, and now we are going to be there for him. No! That misses! El Tigre! Unfortunately dropping that, but still getting the corner position, Biken has those resources, both first and that, but doesn't matter, gonna be a hard knockdown with the mid-screen. Gonna have the curse on her. 
Oh, it has to slow down, but doesn't matter. The gun is faster. It's tough. Oh my god. There's going to be a lot of damage. Let's see the forward still gets it. Another guy is going to close up. Raburn and all that. Oh, those wounds. Wants to kill right now, Tardel. But no, he's just shooting him. No. Yo, this match is going 11. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's going straight into another 110 kilometers per hour on the highway. And both of these players are super offensive in their playstyle. Tiger is very prone to mixing. And Turtle has that super good offense that's just re completely relentless. But what Tiger does have as well are those guns. Brrrra. And now Turtle getting that card. Let's see if he can give more gets Tiger. Oh, and missing the grab the dead no. First is not going to save you in this situation. And you are dead and Tiger goes up by 2-1. Yo, it's the, uh, I don't know what color that is, but definitely the diff this time. Tiger Puff, I don't know what sort of, like, what he got. He just finished his oats or his cereal, but man, it feels like T Tiger Dial did up to the next level. Like, man, these back and forths. This was kind of reminiscent of the first game that we saw on top eight, like the, the Parachu versus Zando. This is super fast on both ends. I mean, both guys are do 10. Yeah. To have fast games. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. Great things, great things we are seeing. Are we going to be seeing another color change just to see the difference? Nope. No, 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 no. color 10. Who was still being the button. It is a really, really good job. Goes for the jump S just to get that defense. Super, super good button. Switches! Oh. Damn, going to hit on Kavari. Tiger force to boost. Let's see the shooter. Blocks. Tiger shots in. Oh, what? oh no, that's going to be an easy combo for Chaos. What? No concentration there. Gets the opening, tries to reload. Turtle on blocking duty. Oh, nasty instant over just to get that reload. Get those bullets and concentration back and just. Oh, that was cheeky. I think he knew. He just locked on, took that extra bit of a half seconds just to lock on the bike. And no matter where you're going to be ending up on the screen, that lock on is following you everywhere. Yeah, and oh, no, damn, what a, what a rocket, and Tiger gets in skate out of there. Now, Turtle, oh, it's a tough death. We are going for the super concentration now. Welcome to the shooting belly. Oh, beautiful, beautiful cross up. And you have big issues there. And oh, oh no. Let's see the combo, let's see the combo. Because look at Tiger's going to get boost in a minute! Yo, nice awareness using that the flex shield just to keep backing away, but that close slash is super good against Antiers in those situations. And definitely Turtle being aware of that, a super good awareness. Both these plays having similar bars to this and the burst is also both half of these. Both are actually having the blue burst could be utilized in a similar way, but now Tiger Pop is on the offense. El Tigre going all in, but doesn't matter, Ooh. same side get parried and struck into the ground. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but you would use it of the 6 foot to evade that tether, and now Turtle already popped that burst. Let's see if he can continue, but guys with the 6 p but you are now in the shooting gallery. Let's see if he can get close to him in a position, in a better position, not right now. There there is a Schmackina, that's probably going to kill, yes, yeah, he's yeah, going to kill. Tiger for like. A few times, I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit worried for Tiger because Turtle has been very relentless. Got in a few of those counter hits that were super crucial to the game plan, but Tiger's defense has always been like insanely sharp. Like I can't I can't describe it in any other way than just like super aware of every single game state. And hey, it paid off in the end. Like that that's super super well from him. Certainly it paid off in excess. That was beautifully done. Completely mm -hmm. negating mm -hmm. everything that Turtle wanted to say. Yeah, I am going to, to put you into that doesn't matter. I'm going to take advantage of that are better than you. But now, we're going to go to the next game of losers. But I, wa I want to, to mention something. We only mm, have six coats remaining. Oh, only six left? God damn. Yeah, but that's not something that I don't know. How many hennies do we have? Uh, 
I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. We're moving on to the next match. The the both of these players have we have seen on stream before, but Anders is switching to Leo. Actually yeah. a very good smart because like A, Potemkin versus Golovis is super bad for Potemkin. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Yeah, and if people ask why is Anders and Leo easy to cover him as much as a Potemkin? Because yeah. that he knows that yeah, not worth it in it's not worth losing five years of my life just to play one game. Oh, nice super just gonna have those plus frames, doesn't matter. Oh my oh. god, yeah, and th there it is. Like, why you really want to have a DP versus Golovis. You can just on reaction do whatever you want. But now let's... Ah, oh, big grab. Drone. And oh there it is. my god. Good flash kick there. You really can't do, like, too many high commitment behemoth typhoons against Leo, because if it's a really, really good Leo, which Andros, of course, is, <laughs> like, you have to keep everything airtight. Otherwise, he's just going to be DPing on reaction. What? Flash kick in reaction? Yeah, oh, this time... Oh, flash Ooh, kick, yeah, exactly. Or I the flash kick. Let's watch that pressure. It is a good one. Another edge flash kick gets a conversion onto that wall. And there it is. Wild Assault. Break it! Oh, nice. This is Harnock up with a level 3. Drone. Oh my god. Just goes for the 2P just to try to bait the, the DP, but doesn't matter. Okay. Good pressure while that's all easy still blow. Oh, the cross up not. And there is the mix up. Oh up. my god. And there is the kill. <laughs> yeah, Leo on four. This, this is not the hell matchup for Golo, it's definitely not. But like, you're always scared on offense. That, that flash thing can come anywhere. Hmm. There's something I want to ask you. Mm. Is the guard point on, on Leo's side able to block out a Typhoon? Uh, yes, as long as it's not low. Like, if it's a mid or a high, then yes, Oof. definitely. <laughs> wow, that doesn't sound like fun on, on your end, then. It, it's like, we're more scared of the flash kick, because you're literally just one button away. You can just react to most of Golos' behemoth Typhoons with just one button, and it's like, Mac the neutral again. Oof. But it is, is it, it is a smart pick from Andros, and, and Solid is definitely the one who has to walk uphill in this uh, matchup right here. Oh, well, you don't need to work as much if you get that one well self contact and now oh, Andros is going to get bombs, yeah, doesn't matter, just burst <laughs> out of there. Professional, professional recommendation, burst out of there, trademark that. Oh, what a conversion, I've never seen that one actually. And the super, yeah, there we go. Hard knockdown, Leo can do a lot of stuff, especially with this hard knockdown. Just gonna go for the close start, the 50-50. Close for the burst immediately, has that full bottom meter just to do whatever he wants. But watch out for Leo's. Oh! Like I said, keeps it airtight. I don't know if that was a miss input or something else, but getting hit. Finally, a round for solid. Certainly a round for him. Let's see how they're going to respond, or Solid is going to keep the ball running. Seems like he's going to keep the ball running. Beautiful instant blocks on the cross-ups. That dash on Leos to invade the overhead typhoon. But oh, another 6P. Let's see that pressure on Andros. One. Right, I'm dying. Unfortunately, they don't manage to capitalize off of the counter hit. Yeah, just keeps it safe, trying to out outspace Leo. Good stuff, watch out for the O key. Oh, so we are a bit too far away. Oh, home target on, on the wall that's out. See that pressure? Waste. Waste the mm. waste the end, yeah. That's the moment when you are getting completely. completely full of your senses. Yeah, I can, what can I do? What can I do? I can do nothing, I do nothing. Then, yeah, mm. you end up losing. That was a, no, a mental overcharge if I've ever seen one. It, it really can't ha happen to anyone, even though Leo does have the flash kick. Uh, we've seen a few stray hits from Solid just being capitalized on really well, just maximizing damage as much as possible. Which is honestly, like, feels like the correct decision since Solid has been going for that yeah. cons quite consistently. 
Super good from both of these players. And literally anything can happen in this match right now. Certainly. Right now. Oh! We've seen one, one more flash kit for Andros. And oh! Overhead on the other situation. And now Solid forced to pop Burst. So no one has out blocks. There. Ah! Sorry, I'm kinda of slow today. No worries, no worries. It's completely fine. This matchup doesn't make it any any easier on any of us. Both Leo and Skolo, and anything can happen in any sort of second. And look at this, just like that, the corner position is switched. Oh, managed to capitalize on the whiff punish, but in 2k2d, of course, the classic. I mean, you're just gonna DP that every single time. Leo has been doing that ever since they signed days, and man, like, you cannot count out any crazy sort of stuff that Andros cooks up. No, you can't. And now Andros, let's see. That the person just waiting for Solid to do anything, trying to play a more reactive gameplay right now. Yeah, as I said, if you don't keep your stuff airtight, the flash kick is and can can and will come out any sort of second. And look at this goes for the immediate and backdash, hyper aware of anything that Gold Lewis does. Super, super good. It, it is very noticeable that Andros knows the matchup really, really well. Certainly not. Oh, this, yeah, but this time when. For the flash he can once and the crest the idea and it's and he paid off for that. We are tight and going to leave to do a third duel. Oh, oh there's an okay. opening but yeah instant block. And oh, the punish. Ooh, goes for the running BT, but unfortunately misses. The drone is there to just keep and save. Goes for the PRC. <gasps> unfortunately, it doesn't get the cancel. That was a, such an unfortunate whiff. Going to be capitalizing on Andros' side. Look at this. Just has the corner position right now. Easily goes for the grab. 50 50 in the corner. Ooh, that's going to be rough. And I don't know if that kills, but you're super low. Mm. No, you're super low. You still have moves, which is something. Well, moves for solid. Level 3 roll. Let's see that pressure. Oh, beautiful back dash. Onto that grab and easy pickings for Anders. We're going to get advantage to the one. Mm. Did you see that reaction on the overhead? That was I was a bit surprised. Not that I'm like doubting any any of the uh, scales of Anders, of course, but like I I did not see that, <laughs> and I'm watching it live. I mean, it, it happened me a lot of times. Which is yeah, how that happened. I know it happened, I was watching it, we are watching it live, like everybody else is doing, and it says, mm, that just really happened, it is, <laughs> it's a beautiful world, the one that we live in. Absolutely. Of course, going to be sticking with the goal always because Solid definitely does believe in this character, and since it, he is top tier, there's no reason to switch, right? Exactly. No, there's none. If you go lose a stop there, you're going to ride until the sunset. Mm, absolutely. Even when he is volunteer, like the character loyalists on Golo with side are really, really impressive. And it definitely motivates a lot of players just to stay with characters like this. Showing that it's not always the character pick, but like, you know, how you play the character. Certainly, but now Andrew is putting a lot of pressure on Solid. Already on, on the other side of the screen for the second time, but now Solid... <laughs> As more as he has, he's going to punish it, not as well. Ooh, missed times that, so, or sorry, Turbulence, unfortunately. Just a simple combo for Solid goes for the laser B, uh, sorry, Oki. Ooh, 50-50 gets blocked, but then grab, Deflect Shield comes out a bit too late. Just finishes it off, super simple. Exactly. At this point, it is what you want to do. You want to keep it simple, guard point is going to be on the air. Oh! JD connects this, which means that Solid gets a free opening, a free invitation onto Andros' face and he's going to use it perfectly. Look at the Oki. Ooh. Maybe thought that that would kill, doesn't go for the White Wild Assault and the Hard Knockdown, but now it's all Andros' turn. Has any, every sort of resource you kind of want for this situation, but no. Ooh. Ooh. Andros is on his level of light. The we of laser, let's see the Oki and well, everything at once and you don't have enough bar to survive that chip, which means that we're going to win five. Hey, this back and forth has been kind of insane. It feels like Solid finally found, I was about to say Solid footing, but no, I will not. <laughs> I will not say that. <laughs> don't say it. <laughs> Cave to your primal instincts of making bad jokes. Yeah, I gotta keep it professional, you know? I, only, only good jokes from now on.
Feels like I'm getting fired for that one. But I didn't say it though. I didn't say it. I, I, I told you explicitly. I'm, I did not. I did not say that. Shame on you. <laughs> Shame on Two, you. One. That was the best thing. Oh, my right. fellas have gone start. I love that. It is. Oh. Andros gets the opening. Let's see if the Oki gets one grab. Max stands again. And oh, there's, there's no amount of damage that's going to save him from that situation. Oh, what a monster. Oh, alright. Big opening. Andros is kinda dead from this situation. No. Oh, oh my is dead. Oh my god, solid. Yo, like this is looking like solid game right now. It is certainly solid game to lose. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> I want to see a, a double Luigi. I am sorry, not sorry. Understandable, 100% understandable. But this position is looking rough, but if anyone Andros can let me be the one too. Okay, no worries. Nah, yeah, never mind. Okay. <laughs> it's like a situation guy, yeah, we're, we're hyping Andros, nope. Yeah. So let's say, see, I don't want to play another game with him. I enjoyed it very much, but thank you, not thank you for all the games. I don't want to see you in a in a in a while. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the goal always of like understand that 100. percent I'm on the uh, on the side of playing goal always, so I've had that a lot. I understand that 100. percent My locals are never happy with me when I'm pulling out the goal always. <laughs> but anyway, Solid is moving on to top four, if I'm not 100 percent mistaken. Uh, so, which I think you aren't. Perfect, absolutely perfect. <laughs> it's not like it's my first tournament, you know. I've been doing this for a while now. I, sh I, sh I should be able to read a bracket, but still, every and single time it's a trouble. But next okay. game, this is an EMEA classic. Like I'm just looking at this, and I'm both hype and kind of fearful. Yeah. Both emotions are perfectly normal in this situation. Patachu Tiger Pop. We've seen this game play out. Um, how many salties are we at right now? This is the 99.8, which means a lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the, this is just an EMA classic. It's the it's the classic in, in in replay. So you kind of see this. If not every week, it's gonna be there. In both offlines and onlines, they're playing probably against each other constantly. So seeing them in a tournament is definitely never a surprise whenever. And it's always a treat, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, two of the best players in the region ducking mm. it out and being entertaining in, in the way they do it. What could, what could go wrong? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> The super plus run is like e prime EMEA online. Yeah, it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, EMEA team rocket. That's <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, that's so hundred percent true. Then you you only need to add like the occasional Jason, and we are done. Yeah, the occasions Jason, the occasional Zando. Like the, the, uh, for a while, uh, we did see Zato Van as well. I haven't seen him in a while, but still, that was also an EMA classic, as, mm. especially on the onlines. Yeah. True. And, uh, and the offlines also. Who, who are we going to be messing with? Yeah, exactly. But still, Parachu versus Tiger in this a classic EMEA SmackDown. There's, this is just a Thunderdome every single time we see it. And. And since we're already booting up... Dual one. Damn. Let's, rock. Let's see how we are going to go. For now, both players seizing them as a little bit, but Antaget, no. Oh, in aggressive po forcing boost already on Patechu's side. And getting close, which means that we are down for a trade. Oh, oh, stays for the corner, punishes that DP, makes both of those hits with... Yeah, this should be already a super, getting those bullets back and some of that concentration. 
But no kill, that's just a pixel away, man! One, one straight shot should be more than enough. If Padachu allows him to um, unsheath his gun. Oh no. I was about to say, this is just a disaster waiting to happen, but no, Tiger Pop, just easy. You know, chips out with those bullets, no meter on Parachute's side, so no FD as well. That means chipping out is always a possibility, as we just saw. He's going straight in. Yeah, sorry. Nico just going into the next one. Yeah, we are. We are not going to be waiting for anyone. But, and now, Tiger, forcing good for Parachute. From the Hippo Parachute. Let's see. There's the DP. Let's see the continuation. Tyrant Raid. Perfect hit. That's a lot of damage. No stamina on Parachu's side, unfortunately, just now regenerating, but you still have that DPRC. <gasps> Yo, left, right, just rolling away. The Gooba stop as well, just to keep it a bit spicier. Oh my god, you never know which side Tiger's gonna be ending up on, so you never know which side you're gonna be ending up DPing on. And look at this, gonna go guns. Gun blazing, and that's gonna be it for the first game. Certainly, we are gun. We are blazing. We are blazing. And yes, first game for Tiger Pop. And on those mix-ups, that's a moment of what? I must throw a cheeky coin to decide where mm -hmm. to block because there's no way to react to that. Yeah, no, t Tiger is just like dancing on the line between left and right, especially with those Goomba stomps. I, and those rolls, like, you never really know. You can be FDing Tiger out, but still he's gonna be find, finding some way mixing it out. And he feels like he... It feels like he really pioneered some form of this, like, mix and super offensive Happy Chaos style. Even during... Yeah. I, I can't remember too much during Season 1, but especially after those, like, Happy Chaos range... Or, sorry, the, the zoning nerfs. He's been stuck to this game plan, which really, really, really fits him. I mean, having a character, the, cap the capabilities of going that big offense and also zoning mm. like that is big one. You're gonna only have one of those. Mm, absolutely. Oh, big count hit. Yeah, I was about to say I'm expecting a burst here because that should be a lot of damage coming to sin. Whoa, another kind of hit. Look at this. Has some stamina to just keep extending this, but no, just off for the rider lightning. Yeah, straight up. Just read, just, just read the lightning, break that wall. Get the knockdown now. Well, it's on Tiger's side. What are you going to do? We are, we are going to be rolling, rolling, rolling. But boost out from Padachu. Contra hit. And immediate. Does it's machina. What? Breaking the wall is always nice. Absolutely. <gasps> oh my god, Padachu being so patient for this. Alright. I see how it is going to be. Oh, but that's gets the air up. Let's see the opening. Oh, we go with the overhead. Boost up from Tiger, but, but that's just on the corner. Mm. That's not where you want to be against Chaos. No concentration, but still has that super just to get drink that rebel real quick. Hmm. No resources to get that hard knockdown, but still might just be some a bit of a saving grace, but no, never mind. Paratru is already in there with no defensive options. And a big counter hit. I don't know what Tiger was unfortunately doing there, but that counter hit is gonna be doing a lot of damage. Right the light. I know! Wants to keep oh, and the yeah, yeah, yeah. explosion! Yeah, yeah. It's been a it's been a hot minute. A first time I've seen that. Yeah, actually, now that you say it, I don't see the explosion too many times, but when you, when you want to optimize damage right at the end, when you have the full bar, might just be the option, as we saw with Parachu. Hmm. And that's going to be 1-1, one, one, uh, one apiece, right? Yep. Uh, ask Parachu. No yeah, exactly. <laughs> No one knows how this character works exactly ex except Padacho. Yeah, exactly. As intimately as Padacho. I think they, uh, I saw Fogel in chat earlier. Maybe he can be answering that, but I'm not really certain as well. No. Um, my theory on that situation, you, he just wanted more damage. Yeah. Oh, just run up, grab Tiger Classic. He really don't want that safe charm with that Goomba Storm. Good stuff. 50 50s. 2k goes for the wall break. It has those resources, but saves them for something else. Maybe we want to go for the concentration. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Just yeah, go for it, it immediately. Really? It, 
the pressure in Patrick should block almost everything but yeah one more hit gets the opening and we are shooting again and Patrick should not looking that's going to be lasting more on this world and there's the run <laughs> grab there's so much mental stack, especially against uh, Tiger's Happy Chaos, so you are not really sure what he's going to be doing, but then he just goes for the grab. It's so funny every single time. Oh. Once again, that roll, the mix-up, the schmix, mix up, the I just go straight into combo. Unfortunately, drops it with the 6k. It doesn't matter. <gasps> yeah, no, it doesn't manage to bait the burst. Doesn't manage to get the gun away fast enough, but still not much life left for Sin. And that quick schmix left right is gonna lead to a 2 1 4 Tiger Pop. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We, we see that that. When Tiger Pop says, I am going to schmix you into schmix shuffle. You are going to let smix, smix, smix it. Eh. There's no real way. There's no real way around it, honestly. Tiger's nah. playstyle is super clean, especially even even against people he's been playing a lot. Because Palachu is definitely one of those like top EMEA players, especially in that little quote unquote circle to get with Tiger Pop. So, I mean, they know each other. They he knows the mixes, but that doesn't matter because Tiger Pop is so so clean with those left rights. Yeah. And then Palachu with that offense is just relentless. It's the classic that maybe you played with this guy, what, a thousand times because pr they, they probably pay themselves a lot in the tower or in rooms. Dual one. And it is still, okay, what can you do? You are not blocking most of those. Mm, absolutely. First go for Beast Driver with that max range poke and unfortunately just whiffs it, forced to burst after that because you don't really want to take that corner position against Tiger Pop. Safe jump blocks that perfectly. This is going to be a fair amount of damage even for Happy Chaos. Yeah. Goes, ooh, actually goes for the blue wild assault. Mm. Not the same to reload some boys, doesn't matter. This time we're going to be going for it. Um, and I have one game away to, to walking himself loser mm. semis. It's unfortunately sad because, as I said, it's his loser, so the loser update is going to be saying bye bye, unfortunately, to this week's Salty. But still, again, to be going on against either of his, you know, it's an EMA classic, no matter if it's the grand finals or the loser's quarters. Like, the Palachu versus Tiger is always going to be a classic, and we're always here for our show, so let's hear it. I mean, we are going to be here and sing. The scale is going to put that just to buy a little more time, and now. Pastor C gets the opening, we are getting the guns out, not, not the two, the stomp is going to connect, but Patricio is the one that has the, the driving for right now, putting some pressure on Tiger there, but no more. Good defense on Tiger, good. Beautiful push there, gets the guns out. Let's see, oh, to nothing, Tiger still alive, good blocks. Pressure cap that boom for from Patachu. No boots on Tiger, but that's important at the yes. end. You can you can only block that match. Chip is always a real danger when you're so low, and both of these players were just one hit away. The Tiger Pop not ready to give up yet. This combo is gonna be leading to a wall break, so those positive bonuses. Never mind, just opts to go for the corner. Almost has that full butter meter. <laughs> Yo! Beautiful punish onto that BP, lots of damaging inflicted onto Patachu. And now Tiger, a lot of resources available to himself. It seems that Patachu is going to be experiencing one form of hell that you don't want to be in. Oh. So low, but a few clean hits could just change the game completely because uh, Tiger Pop on that HC doesn't have too many defensive options. Oh! That was close. <laughs> Chaos Airlines says no, restrictions are off from the COVID years, airlines are lifting again, the Goomba stop sealing the deal, what a match man. Well, certainly what a match, especially that finish, that was unbelievable. It I, my, that went by a hair's breath, I mean, with. Mm. Absolutely.
But that means that we are now are going to be reprising our, our winner's side because, I mean, mm -hmm. there's so much that we can make them wait yeah, before they, they get to play again. Zombo and Sechi feels... I haven't seen this match in a while. I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with the online tournaments in Guilty Gear for a while, but it feels like Sechi yeah. and Zondo haven't played for a while, if I'm not completely wrong. Yeah, it's my say it's it's the same assumption on my end. Because Zando is appearing um sp sparingly, so it's not always easy mm. to catch him playing. Then it's also the, the thing that Sechi, yeah, can can do well, cannot. There's variants at the end always, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, it's difficult, difficult. But yeah, not a matchup that we see usually. And are they going to? I don't know they are testing something, and since like connection is is, is having issues. Uh, okay. oh, two for two hundred and forty milliseconds on Zander's side. <laughs> Classic. Might be routing issues because it is always rough. Like we do have some players from. Around from the world. that area, yeah, exactly, around the world. Even though it is EMEA one region, it is a pretty, fairly big region, and we have some interesting yeah. ru routing paths. Even like when, when you're in Europe, like the routing paths are always very funny to, to see. Like how, how is... bad can the connection be? It... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we, we are getting confirmed by our beautiful producer that. <laughs> In the lieu of the advance of the pink issues, a restart is going to be a, 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 a used just to see if we are go if we can get it back. Mm, I was about to say, I was about to say the voices in my head, but yeah, absolutely, it's our technician telling us. Uh, this happens from time to time. It's just a service. It's just the routings. It happens. So we're just here. You have to be stuck with our beautiful faces for just a few moments more. And of course. I ain't complaining. Listen, if I if I can just watch lapses for a few seconds more, listen. Espe especially myself stroking the mustache. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it, it, it is a, a decent mustache. I, I, I am going. I, I, I am their, their building, building, and building. But hey, and the other thing that, that you can be doing while we are waiting is claim the few remaining machino codes. No joke, four left. What yeah, are you doing that, that, that you are not? Yeah, you exactly. can catch those. Bruh. If you click the claim code, you know, it's just, oh, so nine. Is it nine remaining if it's not completely? Okay, but yeah, on. Nine because there, I, think, I think there are some some that are. Eh, 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 eh. Uh, not valid. I, I understand. Yeah. But anyway, please, nine left. We are 125 in chat, as I can see right now. And just a few clicks away, and you'll be contributing to the winners. And this might be a top three payout even if we continue in this space. But it is always at least top two payout. So, yep. but now we're going into the fabled match. It's going to be Zondo versus Sechi. Very hyped for this. Not hyped for the music choice, but it is what it is. Nah. I mean, it's not bad, but there's better music around there. Mm. <laughs> and now, yeah, Zondo putting good pressure, but Sechi... Gets one, one opening, can be moving again. Let's see if Eddie gets, gets one hit. Ah, I mean. Zander's on the corner. There's something. Whoa, what a deep hit from that. Still has that burst, but Zander opting to keep the corner. But now, right now, just goes for the burst full screen. 6p into the corner, super good position for Sechi. Goes for the Sun Void. Oh, what a tight burst! That was super, super good from Zano's side, clipping Eddie and the Sunboard completely. Not giving it any sort of breathing room. No, and there is so much that you can do, especially with that uh, index the cube. No, it's not going to, it's going to be better. Let's see if he can get something open. Nah. The cubes are not going to let him. Now Sechi and his rounds are going aggressive, gets it open. Let's see how, how much dodge can put on, on Zando. Ah, good amount and a hard knockdown. Yeah, yeah. Mana is at half and still no breathing room for Zando. Still being blocking out those tap dust like there's no tomorrow. Sunvoid has all... Well, just a raw Sunvoid been clipping Zando from out of nowhere. I was not ready for that, but still, 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 still in that mix, mix, mix. Oh, speaking of mix, the command grab, just get out of here. And, and it's a commander that plays the for Amorphous should kill? Yes. Also, 
no mana as well, right? And how did somebody? I am glad you ask. It clicked them the pressing buttons. Not blocking. Unfortunately, it happens to the best of us, right? Oh! Guard break. Also, the guard crush allowing Zambo to just keep stacking more cards. Eddie is going, unfortunately. Oh, the gravity yes. staff clipping that. Ooh. Yeah. That stuff is so troll. It is really funny to see though. <laughs> yeah, it is. Which brings me to think who, who, who does the engine still accepts that, that much bullshit on screen? It happened. It yeah. is funny. If it's funny, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, the cross up so... cube, man. <laughs> and the super cube as well. The super, super amazing. That's why I say I still don't know who the engine handles everything, especially the super one. Except that, that they can just treat it like another entity and say, okay, why not? It's there. <laughs> it's like, I get, uh, as I said in chat, I get, I'm getting jump scared from time to time by this cube. It's like, as soon as it's off screen, it's out of my mind. Like, my goal of this player's object permanence like doesn't exist, and I'm the prime example of that. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir, no one escapes the Spanish provision. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, listen, That's... speaking of bad puns. <laughs> I don't care. I, I am down for those. But who doesn't want bad puns is Xander being dishing the pain. Still having enough resources to do whatever he wants. And just look, Sechi. Nice wrong one, gonna be a fair back and forth. The Eddie eating up cubes is always gonna be funny, but still no Eddie right now. Goes to invite hell just to knock down. Corner position for Sechi. Really, really, really good position. Just a quick block swing into Eddie is gonna be sealing a lot of deals right now. Oh, oh my I god, and again. Again. Beautiful burst out of Zando, and now there's going to be dangerous. Zando has almost no mana. Let's see. Get a grab. We're going to be trading some life for mana because, well, we can. And now, staff on screen, oh, one, there's an opening for Sechi, uh, there is uh, the opening, the fry is going to put him against the wall, yes, and yeah, was yeah. enough yes, to get through. Oh. Doesn't, doesn't, go, doesn't extend the combo in fear of the burst. Corner position for Zando, but a uh, single burst can't change everything right now. Oh, just drains the burst bar a bit with the uh, blue Wild Assault. Goes for a mix in the deck. Yeah, because yeah, that like selection of spells is, isn't dangerous at all. Mana region and the lingering cube and spreading cubes. That's not something that you want to be facing at. But Sensi mm. has Zando on the corner for a moment. Alright, alright. Goes for the oppose. Gonna be a full combo into the sound void. Hard knockdown with Eddie back, this is not a good situation for Zando, especially with that low of a mana shield. Oh my god, again, what a nice, nice burst, but still, Sunboy is ready right now. Eddie clipping that with a leap. Okay. Go on. Oh, Amorphos, let's see them. Oh, Amorphos can see better, that was a bit too fast. Well, that's all coordinates, and now, let's see, one cube. Not going to get it, still going to force blocks. Let's see the, the cube spam. Yes. Sechi was ready. Oh my god. I'm surprised every single time Sechi just pulls out something like this randomly. Or it's not even random. Like, my guy is just so good at the game. Situational yep. awareness, balancing those bars like there's no tomorrow. Even when Eddie is has such a long cooldown, it never feels like it whenever Sechi is on screen. Like he's managing those bursts, those supers, and still but Zando, like man, like this is so good. Like this is so, like such a matchup with so much history. Zando having so much matchup experience against Zado players and Zados. Like, this is such a nice back and forth. I love Guilty Girl, I love fighting games, man. <laughs> it, it is fun to watch, certainly. Now, 
that's it, forcing burst early out of Zandor. Let's uh, let's prep up for everything. Look at the amount of mana and cards. But Sechi, good pressure from the Rolex, gets the opening. Zando onto that corner, Eddie is going to clip him again and... Yeah, Samboid. Uh, also, no mana, no mana. Yeah, no mana. Watch out, any sort of mix-up will kill you because you don't have a lot of HP to be working with. The lowest HP in the game, in fact, without any mana shield. Uh, this is... Sechi is just sending Zando into the next screen. Dual 2, mana is back, new spells, new me, new everything. But still, Zando, this back and forth is absolutely insane. Goes for the spell and just bursts out quickly. Like, you do not want to be on the defense against Zando right now. Nah. No one wants to be on the defense against any of Asuka's shenanigans. And Sechi tries to fly over anything, but the amount of spells being thrown at him is more than enough. While Lingan Q, let's keep it going. Yes, this is Ooh. Look at the damage! That combo though was so sick, extending with the 2k TD while Sechi was airborne, goes for the tap dust right now. It's gonna be a simple combo into the death deck, super cube, out! Oh my god, thank you very much Parachu for the raid. Big, big thanks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Sad that your run had to end there, but man! Yeah, that was a match. That was such a match. Yeah. Oh, neutral is being played with Eddie even. Look at that, just sending him out full screen with that uh, Drunkard Shade. Oh, BRC just to re recover some of, some of those spells. Uh, yo, that, I love BRC, I'm not gonna lie. BRC is such a cool uh, addition to the game. It is. I mean, it's, inter it's an interesting addition, even though, uh, to be fair, the amount of mm, drought that is yellow RC for only quarter bar. Not but too now, much HP, yeah, not too much HP on Sechi's side, you can just fill the screen no. with cubes, oh, and the tap does oh. again, man. Yeah, this is just gonna be a simple combo, yep. Simple combo, 6 eight, easy peasy, lemon and squeezy and Zando, 2-1 over Sechi. Zando is just one one more match away from those grand finals. Osechi still has to be wading through. Uh, is it? Oh wait, let me see who's on the bottom side. It's gonna uh, be Tiger Pump versus Solid. Right? Yeah, exactly, and that's not gonna be fun for either one. Like top four is kind of stacked right now. Solid Tiger Pop, Sechi, and Zando. Like, I mean, oof. Bait was already stacked. Oh yeah, which absolutely. Means, which means that well. Technically can't get more stuck than that, but if you reduce the scope, yeah, it's still stuck. It's more stuck. Yeah. Oh, nice conversion. It's up for the Eddie offense, but Zando still on. very, very aware. Just goes for a 2p just to delete Eddie. Cubes too many for your 6p to handle, unfortunately. It's going to be a full combo. Sechi not going to be bursting. And never mind. Actually, on the last hit, it doesn't want the ball break at all. And now you're stuck in the blender against Zan oh, Zado. And with our mana. Oh. That's the important part. Got no mana for for a good amount of time and now. Yeah, mana rejoin, but he's already stuck on the corner and said he has a full offense pulling down him. That should be more than enough. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Just a flat damage, you, you, you kinda know when it's gonna be, it doesn't matter if you have like the highest health in the game as Oscar has with that mana shield. But oh my god, just sending cubes full screen with the staff. What, 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 um, which one is that? Is that the fast one? No, it's the gravity one actually. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, oh, who knows when dad's on screen? Nice back throw. I don't know if that was a gamble or not. But, oh, goes for the cube immediately. Overhead back dash. Ooh. Nasty. Now, oh, oh, yellow out of session. Let's see if we can get something going on. There's no more mana on Zando, therefore, it's the gold bottle. Double jumping is not going to let you out of it, it's going to just buy you time. There's the big cube, it's going to catch on the back throw on the back there, which means that now Zando just can spam. It was going oh. to go. 
I'm gonna jump scare every single time Zano does something cool like this. That was so sick. Going through the holes with a grab, with a teleport. I mean, that was just such a good awareness. Now, Zano still has those two screamers, so does double the guard crush if he ever gets the chance to go on the offense. But Z Sechi does not want to let him go anywhere from that corner, even without any sort of eddy. Oh my goodness. Also, look at that mana bar. Dangerously low, actually. Certainly. And Sechi has still a lot of resources ready to be used, which means that that mana bar is, is going to be managed efficiently, because if not, you can be in trouble. There is no more mana. Let's see the, the punish. Yeah. Six H because you can, and we're going to gain five. Oh. All right, all right, all right. I see exactly where this is going, and I'm very hyped to be here for it. Sechi, man, like what a... Like, dictating the pace of that match completely. It was so sick to watch. It doesn't feel like either of these players really need to adapt to something, like, specifically. Like, both of these have felt, like, super on points every single time on almost all interactions. It's just those small, small decision-making that can just, like, make or break a whole match, which just is a testament to how good both of these players are. Certainly. Oh, but now Zendo already forcing an early burst, and that DB getting him out of that lingering cube, as sending a lot more cubes and getting even more mana region. Because why not? Why can't we get everything at once all, at, all the time? That's the slowdown staff, and it's gonna be interesting. Just puts the cube out. On oh no, sorry, that's the gravity staff. Of course, sorry, very much. Just putting a wall of no go. Like, if yeah, you walk here, they're getting hit. Like, yeah, no. That's a, that's, a, that's a stop sign if I ever seen one in a video game. That's <laughs> true. 6k starting the combo, 6k to finish it off, and goes into the super cube. This should be... No, actually! Like, how many pixel perfects have we seen this? Just half eight. A lot. But doesn't matter because this one probably... Not yet. They still not achieved that. Whoa. Wow, that... That took a while to kill. Stay. Set. Oh, once again, oh those DPs. Those DPs. Set, you go for a push, trying to break some cube. Oh, but who goes right to this area now? Zando, go for the pressure, get the opening. Let's see the matter we're going to do. A lot of damage. Set up. Off is on point, goes for the blue wireless on the cube, staying at the hitbox, two of them. No, just goes back to full screen, just to send cubes the uh, Sechi's way. Super good, just gonna go through the oppose. But Sechi managing to stay composed like never before and just keeps on the defense. Like, oh my god, just pure skill and nothing else. Where is he just gonna be clipping? Eddie is gone and no, nothing to save him except that one wire C that he might spend that on. And there it is actually, Lapsus. How is this actually gonna go? I don't know, I don't know this is so strange. Would you just of the opponents to break all, all the cubes? But Zando is still using those stars and teleports. Wait, wait, just trying to mess up with Satisfying. It doesn't matter this time. Gets the opening and the Six Age. And Zando is going to be advancing on two grand finals. Even with the nerfs, Zando is still him. I'm not. Go I'm gonna be straight up with you all. Zando is him. It's never a character that makes a player. It's always the other way around. Huh. Might, might be a hot take, but hey, I still 100% believe that. As we, we've been talking about this, like you've mentioned this, like time and time again. Like no matter how bad, quote unquote, your character might be, the player always makes it. Mm hmm. Exactly. I mean, if in a game that's as soft as melee, there's people that can still pick characters mm. that are not used and get some big wins this game that's still being actively maintained and technically not solved completely yet come on you can get any character and make it work we can still joke about some characters being bad yes yeah, absolutely. is that an excuse no never Absolutely not. And we see, like, EMEA is the perfect example of this. Seeing characters like Zato and even Potemkin just making it to top eights every single week. 
Hey, it, it's beautiful to see. I honestly think so. Super, super good. But hey, this matchup. I'm waiting for this match. I am dreading it for more reasons than... For several reasons, as you can imagine. I don't know who really has the edge in this matchup with Tiger Pop since he does play Golowis as an off character. Like, it feels like he does really know how this matchup works, especially on the defense. And as we see, it's paying off way too well right now. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. Hey, and that's not a perfect because Tiger ate one blocked one Typhoon that was on roads for a perfect. Yeah, comparing Aaron Woman for real. And now Tiger <laughs> dealing a lot of damage and not letting Solid play anything. We we can hear to, to watch again not to not to be a witness to a slaughter. Still Solid is just a few hits away from getting that fully, but no 5P just gonna interrupt in that six stage fully. Off to stay for the corner, no wall break, but hey here it is, it starts like this. Certainly it is not like, oh, but worse, worse, oh, the yeah. that drone saves Solid's bacon right now. Wow, what a challenge, 5k in the middle of that Behemoth Typhoon, I saw that startup and I think every single person on the stream did. And this is just gonna be an insane extension, goes for this Deus Ex Machina. Yeah, I agree, I saw that, I saw that and said... Then why are you touching like that? And the result is that no, no, you should be touching it like that. Like, I, sometimes I just get surprised at how people can challenge Gold Lewis, but it feels like a, a player as confident as Tiger Pop is one of the few people that can and will do it in the correct position. Like, hey, that's why he's one of the best in the EMEA. Yep. Solid. Like, man, that Gold Lewis is super fun to watch. I'm, I just gotta say, like, man, oh, I love fighting games. I would say, in general, Gold Lewis is fun to watch, in general. Mm -hmm. If you can take it a, a, another notch, then we are talking big. This set is definitely far from over, I think. It feels like Solid just going to be coming back with some... something else. I, I feel it in my bones. Hmm. Interesting. We'll need to see, we'll need to see. It feels like Solid has been playing very defensively like this whole top eight, and it's been kind of working out, except when he lost in the winners. But still, on in the loser side, he's been doing really well for him. But oh my god, this risk is already pumping out to the max. One single hit is just going to be a max counter hit. Yeah, there it is. <gasps> just burst immediately. You kind of have to, right? Yeah, and all this time, Tiger not doing well with the distances. Still, he's going to force... Yeah, he's going to force Solid onto that wall in a minute, and there is your... Full compulsory, there's extra machina. Nice catch in the back touch with that 2p6 stuff going into the Deus Ex Machina. I don't think this kill is actually a still super good position for Tiger Pop. Solid. I don't know if you really want to go for a burst here, but still anything can happen. Exactly, everything can happen. Solid hard work, but uh, decides to save it for the next round because, yeah, that was a little bit of a gamble if wanted to mm -hmm. take it because also you don't want to let Happy Ghost be full screen against you. Mm, absolutely. That damage though, like, oh my god. That's some Golo with tier damage, I'm not gonna lie. But watch out, Golo's offense is gonna be oh, fortunate to pack up just back touch its mid screen, super good awareness. Fair amount of damage just for a few hits. Oh, oh. Now, oh, Tiger can be in a nice situation, but oh, beautiful contest to that drone. Which means that Tiger has free range to do as he pleases. Six hit counter hit. Is this going to be sealing the deal? Oh, I'm getting the burst in the nick of time. Perfect usage. Oh my god, calls out the dash. Correct decision this time as well. Tiger Pop managing to stay as the king of defense this top eight, as I've seen. 
Man, it's not easy blocking out Golowiz, but he does it so masterfully. It, le it seems like Golowiz is still at the bottom of the tier list. Like, that, <laughs> that is nuts. Uh, I mean, you know that playing against this kind of characters is like climbing a mountain like 30 times. Mm, you can lose your thighs, but then you get tired, your legs fail. Possibly the last match of this set. Tiger Pop going 2 0 against Solid, but still anything can happen. Gold Lewis is on the screen. Up for the burst almost immediately. He doesn't want, want it to put out the drone because Tiger Pop and Chaos are really good at just avoiding it. Point of position for Tiger Pop. This is very dangerous situation for Solid. Goes for the low end. This is going to be the hard knockdown off the wall break. Good stuff. Certainly now. This. Kills a tiger pop with a perfect is right now on round point going to face Sechi if he wins obviously yeah absolutely safe jump off of that oh my god base to grab masterfully is this gonna be a blue RC or oh, sorry blue wild assault perfectly executed this goes for the runner because solid does not really have any meter to play with oh just go for the grab bait Oh, there it is, though. They have beautiful punish on Solid at them to grab. Another blue... Blue Assault, which means... Free Oki and Chaos love Free Oki with that. Fast 3-0 for Tiger Pop. Oof. Tiger Pop showing masterful offense. Solid trying on the defense, but Tiger Pop... If, yeah, like he just knows this matchup as well. He knows when to backdash, he knows when to con contest. And especially with Chaos, you just need a few hits. It's not as maybe impactful as Golo is, but just getting those stray 5Ks or 2Ks can lead into a lot for Happy Chaos with those combo extensions. Certainly, I mean, I'm oh, go ahead, sorry. No, so no, I'm sorry. I am more sorry. I mean, it's a matchup that. You play a character that has no, no effective defense, except generic tools, mm. which means. Eh, it's not good. So you are you end up making getting that mm, know-how on how to deal with whatever mm. and, uh, any big guy wants to throw at you. Absolutely. Something that you have to develop, which means that even though you don't play as many Gold Lewis, you more or less get the gist of the idea on Gia, backdash here, do that, ruin his life, etc, etc. This means that we're up at another infamous match, in my opinion. Tiger Pop versus Sechi is no new thing, either within Salty or the EMEA, and this is going to be entertaining no matter who wins. But still, please, Macharino, three cones left, and I know that 145 is objectively larger than three, so please log in, claim the code. You're just contributing, it's for free. There's no downside to whatever you're doing. Certainly it's free, and now two more people clean the goblet. Let's hope that those are good, which means that there is only one more remaining. We'll need Raj to see to see if those are good. If we don't need to to get those back, because that means that only one remaining. Let's hope for that. Which yeah, you say how, how many people was in the stream right now? One hundred and fifty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One hundred thirty. Damn. Can someone oh, one look left. One out now. One it's more code left. It's not that difficult to go there and claim a code. We are waiting uh, if you don't... Okay, finally. Okay, there we go. There all the coupons, wait. all the Matrino codes, hopefully, are claimed, all 50 of them, and before the Grand Finals. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you very much for the contributions. Gamers, be gaming. Gamers, be gaming. And with that in mind, Sechi is already onto the stage. We are just waiting for Tigerpot to say, yep, I am down to play, and we should be good. 
So please, we still have the top three left. Losers finals coming in first, and then grand finals. Whoever wins this is going up against Zando. Please, this is as hype as it ever gets. This feels like the gang is all back together for some reason. EMEA top. The EMEA triad right here, right now. And if you really, really want to see this, please, I just want to see everyone hype in chat because these games have been something else. Me and Laps has been sitting here commentating like not never before. I mean, <laughs> at least for this year. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, oh, I haven't commented since last year. Oh. No, because I did Marvel on Friday, but oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. If not, that, that would have been the, the, the classic. Oh no, I haven't been doing commentary since last year, even though it's been only two weeks. <laughs> we're still waiting for Tire Pop, if I'm not completely yeah. mistaken. Yeah, we're just waiting for him to just get onto the stage. Like someone. Mm. So yeah, Tiger, get onto the robot! I mean, stage! Uh, yeah. If you don't if you don't catch that reference, yeah, you also uh, need to watch better anime than what you're watching. Did you did you did you catch it? Uh no, sorry. Evangelion. Oh, okay. I have I have I don't know. I, I completely eluded my mind right then and there. <laughs> the classic get into the robot. <laughs> oh okay, I got you, I got you. Yeah, yeah, we are just waiting for Tiger. He said he needs a minute. He said minute, uh, two minutes and a second. And it took more than two minutes and a second, so I had to call him up. But it looks like he is on the setup right now, so you know. I always, every time I come in just to say something, like I just, cur or, or I, I like reverse curse it. I like, we want these people to play. So uh, <laughs> I come in to just get it going. All right, take it over. Let's go. Certainly, we are going to get it going. <laughs> No, we are not DQing for... Yeah, okay. no DQs, come on. Missing come your on. by one minute or whatever okay. much seconds. And also, hey, Frankie, thank you for catching us. You are you, you are entering exactly the moment we are going to be running up the first game of Losers Finals. Sechi versus Tiger Pop. No Machirino codes, but you still can make some noise for this match because this is the classic Tiger Pop versus Sechi Zando. Oh, sorry, Zando versus Happy Chaos. As classic as the EMEA region. Let's go! Italian. Ooh. Such a way to dispose of any for, for Tiger, but now Sechi is going to put a lot of damage onto Tiger. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Whoa, nice catch, but unfortunately no conversion. That's a roll state, unfortunately. Gonna be the offense. Trying to go for the command grab, but whiffs the just. Catching the Batchash with the Tap Dust going for first round Sechi 69 every time. Let's go. Yeah. This, and now Sechi gets the first hit. And it's already on. The drills are there. Tiger falls to burst. But with that burst, it gets a lot more danger than usually. Look at that Sechi out of the corner, up the wall. And immediate Deus Ex Machina. Fair amount of damage, unfortunately, very bad defense and guts for Zados, but still looking at side switch. Offense, you can do whatever you want. Tap dust, no burst or anything for Tiger Pop. Fair amount of damage, hard knockdown, you have that bar to do whatever you want with. And yeah, just gonna go for the claps. You really don't need to make it more uh, co uh, complex than that. Nope, just keep on clapping. And also forcing Tiger to pop burst. But doesn't matter, only one more jab, and Sechi gets that first game of of the series. I guess you can technically say that this is a money match. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm just yeah. reading that. That's so funny. One <laughs> gets payout, the, the other one sadly not. Yeah, th this has been years in the making. <laughs> match arena match! <laughs> Yo, who, who, who said bad jokes are uh, forbidden? Oh, this is crazy. Still Sechi Tiger 1 0 to Sechi. We're jumping right back into that game. Mm. Oh man, you cannot be jumping in Sechi. Already, as always, 6P goes for the jump P just to keep Tiger in the corner. No Eddie, unfortunately, but still has some form of resources to play with. 
And yeah, again, Tiger Pop forced the burst as you said last round, Lapsus. Yeah. So this time, both players, no boards, far. Set his Eddie's back ahead because there's a sun match. Break that wall. Let's see the OG situation is going to be the, the usual for, for Azato, but Tiger, beautiful yellow match is impossible right now. Let's other damage is going to be using a blue to break it because there was no bar for for anything else. Also, it was a court, the second yellow. Oh, almost a full screen conversion after that. Wall is low on health, so next hit, yeah, there it is. Gonna go for the blue wall itself for the hard knockdown. Health about equal for these both players. Oh, and that was a bold, bold, bold thing to do. Oh my god, that's huge for Tiger. Yeah, that was a shenanigans. That was proper shenanigans, if you ask me. But now, Sechi. Seeing how he was dealt about Handler Reigns, he says, well, why can't I just put a lot of pressure on your face and see what you do? But Tiger says, nah, I'm not going to use a scapegoat and I'm going to be gunning you down. For the full screen, just sending in some bullets just to send a message. Back touch just the two west, but still on the offense. YRC on Sechi's side just to keep the offense. For a position for Tiger Pop, goes to the oppose, but Eddie Bar is lost. Ooh, tries to seek out for the advantage, but still Sechi manages to throw back Tiger Pop into the corner. Oh my goodness, what is this? This resource management is kind of nuts, I'm not going to lie to you. No, but the resource, the pressure that Sechi can put in, it's incredible. What a piece on the rounds. Oh, just goes for the 2D, 2D starter. This is a huge, huge, huge starter. Gonna be a fair amount of damage. You're gonna be the blue wireless of just for the hard knockdown. Half HP already gone. So next hit could just be very deadly for Sechi if it's the correct hit. And speaking of this, my, this is probably not it, but still. Yeah, very Sechi, close. That's one more chance. Full out of boost, half out of meter. There is a chance. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. But it exists. There's a boost. It's a gold one. Let's see if we can do anything with the extra resources. Eddie is forced there, and Tiger is already on the other side of the screen. There's one opening. By to hell, just keep it meaty. Keep the distance. Keep it, trying to keep it safe whenever he can. Eddie is back on the menu. It means that you can. There's another one. There's one against two openings. What's the best? Oh! Deflection gets in here completely. That's oh, I'm still punishing it. No. There's nothing more to say about that round. Those pimples, <laughs> my goodness. Oh, my God. Tiger managing to clutch the W after it looking kind of dire, even though Sechi having that 1 HP, Tiger staying composed. A bit of a spaghetti moment, the whole last three course meal. Mm. Man, that, I, the, com the composure from Tiger Pop was kind of insane just to block out everything Sechi has. Yeah, because that was looking as sketchy as yeah. at best, fatal at worst. Mm. Now, with the scoreboard tied, Sechi gets an air grab, let's see, and also Tiger has been doing excellent job disposing of Eddie. Okay, nice confirming to the full screen, gonna go to the other side of the screen. Yeah, there's six Machina, the classic Happy Games combat that we've seen, that we all so much love. Hard knockdown, Tiger Pop can maybe basically do whatever he wants, goes for a 2k start and it's also going to be a wall break, goes into the next screen. Oof. Full resources almost for Sechi, but still a super dangerous situation no matter what. Ooh. <laughs> burst. No burst on any player's side. And Sechi is going to force, yeah, there's a sunboard. And the drills are going to, to keep it through, open with the frog. See the damage. It's good damage, but not enough to kill. The problem is that Tiger has bar for everything. And oh. there's That's a limit. Yeah, exactly. There's a limit for everyone. 
Super good defense on both of these sides. Oh, and a max range to West Clipping. Tiger Pop with the counter hit. Opts to keep the co uh, combo short just to stay for the corner position. Oh, the leap covering the, the nice jump up from Tiger. Okay. Go on, set. <gasps> Tiger Pop just switching the corner up just like that. Doesn't even need the roll for this situation. Goes for the slump just to reset, get some bullet back into the chamber. Having two left, <gasps> PRC is the grab with. Oh my god, Laps is so aware of every single meter he has. Yeah. Master Tiger is right now playing out of completely his mind. The amount of pressure he's putting on Sechi is incredible, but now Sechi, let's see if he can get up. No, this time is the air grab. But, but blocks one that, the second one no, and the sweep at the end. Mastodon, we are in for a treat if, if we see the Tiger Pop Zando matchup. Oh yeah, absolutely, but still Sechi has, of course, a massive chance. Like, 2-1, Sechi has to win two of them, but still, like, th with the way he's been playing, it's just a few hits, a few good hits away from just, you know, winning. So there's no real reason to count out Sechi, especially when he's been taking Zaro this far. Let's see the continuation. Now, well, Tiger putting good pressure, Sergi forced that early. But, oh, it doesn't matter if you boost against it's Tiger, he's still going to find the opening and put you onto that corner. And he can do nothing, he can just be there menacingly. And you will be in a panic. Look at that Sergi. It's like his mental stack is completely overflown. Oh, finally managed to jump the throw, but still Tiger is ready with the PRC. Always good stuff. The jump age hitting so deep, you can't really do anything. Burst just to stay away from the eddy. Oh, and this is super good position for Tiger Pop. You have the meter to do whatever you want with. And of course, the chip is gonna be ending it all. He's just one round away from going to the Grants versus Zondo. Let's hear it from chat. Oh, and tough. Tiger gets out of there. Damn. The, oh, but still, Sachi gets another opening. Oh, the counter hit there. The frog is going to be a lot of damage. Crow runs and yeah. The sword is going to get it. What are we going to be seeing in game 5? Or Tiger is going to be sealing it right now. For now, Sachi seems like he wants to force a game 5. There was a lot of damage. Tiger onto that corner. See that pressure. Yeah. Double cold slash is gonna be sealing the deal for Tiger Pop just to use that burst. Oh, even with Curse, the reticle is not staying on Sechi, unfortunately, as Tiger wants to. Such little meter management, or such good meter management, because look at those resources from Tiger Pop. So little concentration, no bullets almost. But now it's right back to Sechi. I don't think this kills immediately, but still super close. One more situation, Luxus. That's Tenzin, yeah, we're going, we're going to game 5. Also, Drikius, thank you very much for watching. You left in the nick of time because you are going to win it right now. Game 5 between Tiger Pop and Sechi. Winner goes to Grand Finals. Loser says, says bye bye to the tournament. Real nail biter way up until the last hit. Sechi is bringing us back. Dictating the pace very well in his last, last match. Super, super, super amazing. I mean, Yet again, I don't think this is like something you need to adapt to because like just a few hits can dictate everything in this match. Oh, real, but now the first hit is going to be for Sechi. Tiger bursting early. Let's see if this air is going to work for, for Sechi. It is counter hit. We're going to be hitting there. Let's see that pressure there. Good turn and all oh, big damage it is. Yeah, we're going to go for some boy, break it and keep all the resources. Well, the important ones. Oh my god. Situations are completely reversed. Sechi feeling as confident as ever. Something switched up. But we are not going to be counting out Tiger Pop just yet. The burst is gone for Sechi. Has that curse on him, so anything can really happen. Yo. Like these back and forths are kind of crazy. One round you see Tiger Pop in the corner, and the other one you see Sechi. 
This is this is looking like a recipe for the double double trouble, the double Luigi right now. Yes. Oh, shot from down oh. there. We're going to we are going to the double Luigi situation right now. Last game, last round, double Luigi's, <laughs> and now it's Sechi the one that. That had the living pull, but no, not tired. Putting such a different pull for the <laughs> counter hit there. Let's see the follow up. It's good. The Osex Machina certainly was. Sending him to the other side of the screen. Hard knockdown. This is such a good situation for Tiger Pop. Any sort of hit against Sechi is going to be sealing the deal. Goes for the grab, just spends all of his resources. Oh my god, is this going to be it? I think it is! Oh. And shoots where he wants! Oh my goodness. He certainly shoots where he, when he wants, where he wants, whenever he wants, everything. Everything. What a match. Like 2-2, two, two, double Luigi, last hit. Like that phew, Tiger dictating that last round was so so important for him. Like Sechi, I, it was a back and forth in a pure sense of it. Like those rounds uh could have gone either way, honestly. Super well done from Sechi, showing that Zaro in the correct hands. Like Sechi is taking Zaro really, really well, like far. Like that is kind of crazy. Oh, that still works. Like, I don't, I don't know, I, I just so he's such a good player, and but Tiger Pop putting a stop, hard stop for that. He shoots when he wants, going certainly. into the grounds. Yeah, certainly shoots when he wants and does whatever, uh, does almost whatever he wants with, with his guns. Fair enough, but now, we're going to, we're going to be having an interesting match, it's going to be mm. none other than Zando, there, menace, looking up there menacingly with his... Asuka versus Tiger on Chaos. I can't. Fantastic I, match. If I Interesting. wanted to tell you, even if I if I could tell you, like I, I don't know what is going to be happening between Asuka and Happy Chaos. It yeah. feels like there are so few people right now on a high level playing still Asuka. It feels like it's only Zando. Uh, at least in the EMEA. Yeah, but it was funny the, the way that people shifted characters. Said, oh yeah, Asuka yeah. is busted. Everybody plays playing Asuka then. Oh wait, X is busted. No one plays Asuka. <laughs> such... Such cloud chasers. <laughs> my head. Hey, if I... Let me go and since like we're going to be having an, another reset, probably... Uh, look, looking at that behavior. Yep, that smells like a reset. Of someone's game. Let me check. Uh, yeah, you, you can all you can all start, <laughs> but my idea. Yep, I called it. It's going to be a, a game reset, so you will have to deal with us for a moment. It's the grants. We'll, we'll take all the time we want for grants. There's no rush, no real rush. It's only possibly two games left, so we're we're very hyped and very stoked to be here. Yes, and also more than probably will be will be done by eleven. So still, it's still a decent hour. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I was about to ask like, why, why are you still uh, like linking the Matrino? But that was the bracket. Yeah. Maturino, thank you everyone. Yeah, exactly. Solved. All 50 this... codes. And extras. True. People did some quests, someone donated $2, which we are extremely appreciating on that. So yeah, we can still shield the quests at least, so you mm. know. You can still go there. It's Most of the quests are just like, hey, go follow that guy on Twitter. Hey, go check that. Twitch page or YouTube channel or something like that. So, if you want and if you care, go there and clean those those quests. Or if you 
can. And I mean, if you can go there and, co and do a, f a direct contribution to the prize pool, would be extremely appreciated for that. So yeah. At least go check the quests are, are not that bad. Mm -hmm. To be fair. Uh, those are not that bad and also add a, a decent amount of to the price pool. Yeah, At least dep depending on the quest, but yeah. Following Diaphone is a quest, so like if you aren't already following him, you should definitely do that. Hmm. Other than that, we're still waiting for a bit of a restart, but still, if you're waiting for something, you can never wait for too long, because this match is definitely worth just waiting for. And we still have 127 people in chat, and that is extremely hype for the, what is it, 99.8? Yeah. Absolutely. It's a lot of people. Okay. Tiger is already back on, back on stage, so we are, we are right now only just waiting for... A certain Zando to reappear. Mm -hmm. Should not take long. So this top eight, like the character variation is really good. Other than like a duplicate Zado, which is already very impressive in its own. We've had yeah. seven different characters, which is fun to see. It's always really, really impressive to see seven or eight different characters just to be uh, you know represented in a top eight graphic. But like who which character out of the ones we've seen up until now, or maybe just player, did you enjoy the most? I mean, I enjoy watching all those players, mm. but I mean, l looking at the amount of bullshit that any of the big characters can do, it's always nice. Fair enough. And of course, you're always a tiny bit biased towards Andros, you know? I mean, yeah, Kai is the, is the homie. Fair so enough. yeah, it, it's a classic. I mean, I, I, like you aren't biased for, for Solid. Yeah, kind of like even if we don't have any Swedish representation, the closest thing is Solid, and of course I gotta, I gotta, I gotta root for my Nordic brothers, and especially if they're being played, or if, especially if they're playing Goloist. And Solid is definitely a top tier Goloist. Like that man is nuts. Yep. Yeah, yeah for sure. We, we've seen he's been playing X extremely good so we are nice so okay seems like we're going to be having a grand finals because this time it worked and we are already going straight yeah. at it <laughs> still... Dude, have you noticed that tiger has one badge still on silver 100 matches online Oh yeah, that's true. Actually, I, th I think he's played more than one hundred online matches. <laughs> oh, more, uh, more than two, three thousand. Yeah, hundred percent. But hey, back to the games. Yeah, guns versus geometry. It's a, it's a, it's a good analogy. Oh, Zando gets some cubes onto Tiger's face. Invokes the power of cheating. Because st stacking, stacking your deck is nothing wrong. Oh my god, Pop using his head correctly, using the 16 just to get the counter hit, but no, Zando offensive burst just to get him back into the corner. And this should be it for the- No! Come on, how many Sage Jam clips have we have? Still alive? Well, oh, then we're in. Two stadium shots, let's see, and now... Oh, that lucky shot connects, which means that now another course. One more shot. Tap that shot. Oh. Super cons. Contact it on the wall. Gets it, okay. Tiger no. has one pixel. No way with the pixel. No way with the pixel. No way with the pixel. It was... was... Wow. Almost gets away with the pixel. I mean, yes, health is a resource, but damn. Oh my god, the pains to see he worked so hard for that last. But unfortunately, the trade did not go in Tiger Pop's favor. 
Nope. Okay. That's super cute. Gets complete jump over and now. Both players trying to score for this Tiger gets the grab after the teleport. See that? Let's see the pressure. Oh my god, the elusive Asik, I never can catch him at all. Those backs are just kind of sick, nasty from Zano's side. Goes for the Gulma Storm, counter hit, super good. Now goes for the knockdown just for the resources. Yo! Ooh. The pressure. Oh, the, the, the leather do cubes. Exchange life for mana. Yellow Water Tiger, the pressure. Oh, still not. True both players still also having full burst bars. Yo. Tiger boost. Zando playing Asuka like a Dragon Ball Fighter's character. Like th that movement is kind of nasty. Going around the reticle like there's no tomorrow. Just a few more hits. Oh, and another train! Dude. Who got hit? It has to be Asuka. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah. my god, I got so scared. Dude, this is great central, but this time, Asuka. Doing a lot more damage than than that's to his probably combined in one shot. And Zandor having the the leading boy this time, but no tiger. He gets the aim shot on the corner hit. Off him on the rear, onto the onto the wall. <laughs> Blocks out, because why not? Let's see okay. Okay, if there isn't more, more mana for Ashka. Go for the yellow from the hit there. Let's see the sequence with the there is no mana. And spells, there's nothing on Ashoka's side. You know, special nothing has to reload those cards. Uh, also known as a draw. Yo, this neutral is kind of sick, nasty from both of these players. Has the corner position, no defensive options at all from Asuka's side. Goes for the blue wild assault, hard knockdown. Gonna be a super good position for Tiger Pop. Has another blue wild assault. <gasps> Catches the back dash. Oh, what a conversion! This is gonna go straight into DSX Machina. Is this killing? No! Still not yet. Let's see the OK blocks left. Yellow. The chip should be more than enough. Teleport. No. Yeah, we have a lot of clips for for Seija today. I am in disbelief. First game going to Tiger Pop 1-0. We do all have to remember Tiger Pop is coming from losers bracket, which means that Tiger Pop first has to knock down Zando to the losers and then win. So that is two whole ass sets against Asaka, which is never fun. Nope. It's not fun for anyone. And yes, as Rexus says, this game lasted yeah. as much as one, as one whole set. Oh my goodness. 135 viewers in this chat. Let's hear. Let's hear it. Let's get so hyped for this match because this is definitely one of the better matches i've seen in a while just from this first game exactly but now tiger's spamming punch on the air just to break that that mana and oh there's one mix there's the grab let's see the mix is going to go low high high low 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 high high Oh, and again, no mana at all. This is going to do a lot of damage if Zandal takes any sort of hit. Yeah, there it is. It's going to be kind of hit and just an easy peasy lemon squeezy combo into the death. Oh, but this time, Zandal big runs around with the six speed counter hit. And now Tiger is being locked onto that corner. Let's see the amount of damage you want to do out of that. One big cube. We are going to be cheating with the loot, stacking the deck, and breaking with the, with the blue one. That's pretty good cubes just for the offense, that lingering hitbox is super good, and yeah. Oof. Mando's back and forth, definitely Zando's side this time, dictating the pace really, really skillfully, especially taking those correct cards every time he wants to move. Ooh, while that's going to lead to the hard knockdown. Mm. Not the correct space in there for that DP and Tiger taking complete advantage of that. Zando struggling to do something, running low on cards, running low on mana. Oh, this might hurt because you're losing mana mid combo. Yeah, the DSX Machina. I don't know if it will kill, but man, it's gonna be so close. 
Okay, not as close as I thought. Never mind. I'm overhyping that as well. <laughs> so much. <laughs> you lose on those hand, Kana. Blocking that PRC again with the tech. A tiger clutching it out. 2 0, man. This is looking one sided, at least this last round. Like, oh. It is a situation because right now, Tiger is poised to, to get us to the reset point. And another, and another full set of games, damn. Oof, at least Chad is falling off. Yeah. Unfortunately, it is, it is those like uh, British football chants, but I'm, I'll allow it this time. Hey, there's nothing wrong <laughs> from time to time. Uh, from time to time, sure, it is hype, I agree, 100% true. I mean, depending on how you... I, I think you've seen the, the Gobi Bastards that the Spanish guys do. Oh, and we got Lolo in chat as well. Nice, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, oh 6 ju just to avoid the kill. Tiger using his head definitely to block those Legos. Yep, that's the best way any Brit can use the, their head. Against, against a Lego brick just to break it. That was a little bit off, but... but eh. Nice extension, talk to the hand, hold this real quick. Xandro feels in whole new spirits, unfortunately the whiff, but this is gonna be a conversion and a half if I've ever seen one. Unfortunately drops it, but got some form of reconnection with that cover hit. Oh, I, I think that curse actually just jumped over Zando. Yep, it went over him, which means that now, like, there's no curse applied. It doesn't matter. Look, look at that. No more mana. Curse is now applied. Oof. That's going to be out of the match. Has burst, but when you were going to be using it. Oh. oh. What an interaction. Oh my god, has all the mana back and throw all the cubes he wants. Unfortunately, drops that with the close flash, but still has that overhead with the 6th age. Mulligan again, plus frames off from those. Oh, got massive spells right now. Super big plus frames all the time he was. That's not a mulligan, that's cheating. That's deck stacking if I ever seen that. Oh my goodness. Oh, the amount Oof. of objects on screen at one point was immense yeah kind of playing the bullet hell versus asuka i have to be holding all of those cubes to the face hmm. it was bullet hell on level 500 ex difficulty reverse order and something like that Game 4, Tiger Pop is only one match away from resetting the bracket. But still, Zando, he has that motivation. Oh my god, Tiger using definitely. He's had really good defense against Asuka. Mm. Oh, a good reaction there on the, onto the flying chaos there. Yeah, big cube going in. Yeah, not too much HP, so any sort of combo. Oh my god, never mind. It's taking too long to think about the cards. And not at all about the game. Oh, Tiger Pop exactly wanting Zando where he is right now. Oh, never mind. 5P offensive burst just to keep Zando in the corner. Okay, go on. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the moment that just the um, we ball in, let's there be let there be the victim, right? No. Yeah. Perfect. And after, listen, I was not ready for that. I was not ready for Tiger to get hit actually. <laughs> Don't ask me why I was. <laughs> oh, but now, Zando stacking, stacking his hand, setting up the gravity. Oh, teleporting to Q. Complete hits, let's see them. Any more spam? 
There's a lot of them. As no. he was going to save you there, Tiger. Let's see the spam. What is going on on screen? Oh my god, Sando is just one hit away from getting that. 2-2. Two, two. Oh my god. Backdash is the 5-D. I don't know if that was properly spaced or not, but still. Manages to clutch it out to a piece. Zando is just one match away from winning this whole last tournament. And Tiger, with everything on the line, has one more match to reset the bracket. One mm. more match, and we are going to game five, which is nowhere anyone wants to see, especially in grand finals. And you're having the, the chance of going into the reset. But watching the 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 position that we are and how is mm -hmm. Zando playing is oof. yeah absolutely like, he he was down two zero right and then just coming back like this is inhumane few people can do this especially against Tiger Pop and in this grand final situations oh, but now also Zando still playing good that's that, the lingering that's it that, that was the speed up stuff, and now Tiger yeah, comes yeah. to that corner. Oh, yeah, but this is the worst. Oh, those combos. Oh my god. Corner to corner, coast to coast. Deus Ex Machina to finish it off. Even through the mana shield, look at how much damage that was. Manages to finally bait that YRC. Good stuff. This is going to be the final. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Tiger, he shoots when he wants. He shoots when he wants, and now he's about to shoot into that reset. Unfortunately, missed times that button just to get those cubes away. 2S, oh my god, just enough. Breathing room and the corner switch! Not too much damage, but this is so much research that he gets back with the positive bonus, the positive bonus, both the burst and the meter. Ooh. It is certainly a lot, and now still catching Zando on the air. Straight to the, to the wall. You go over the blue one. Let's see this. Okay, still block, no crash, no mana. That should be enough. We get the re. We get the reset. Well, casual reset. Yeah, absolutely. Man, that was way too close. Both, this means both are in losers, and the next set is going to be deciding the winner of this tournament. Like, chat, let's go. We're 143 people inside of here. Show some more hype. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm enjoying myself way too much. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> It's the secret. Fast move for Zander, but for the other he has space to set up some cubes and Something but Tiger, no, nothing really too much. Once again, opening him, get going for super concentration, and yeah, look at that, look the pressure. Classic, what we've seen more, multiple times. Nice awareness of those lack of bullets from Tiger's side. Zanda using that 2k just to interrupt any sort of button that Tiger did throw up, and this is definitely a result of that decision making. Look at his corner position and almost no HP for Tiger. Okay. That was a very expedition terrible run Let's... <laughs> Damn. I need water. <laughs> We're still a long way from finishing this set, it feels like. But every time I've had a feeling and my bonus has been wrong, so I won't say anything. Just enjoy the match in front of me and commentate from time to time. 2D clipping that max range overhead 6 eight gets blocked by Tiger. Oh, the Screamer hitting perfectly and the blue Wild Assault into the mulligan. So much advantage for Burst, kind of have to in this situation. Yeah, exactly. 
Now Tiger. Oh, there's a counter hit. Man oh, the mana bar is, is, a pop is going to be popping middle of there. So that's hit is going to do a lot of damage, especially the, that wall one. Mm. And now, yeah, only one more hit. And we are getting on a really, really, really close game. Yeah, absolutely. It feels like these drawn out games is really about who knows who best. And uh, yo, pulling out those round on DPs is all that this is about. Amazing position for Asuka right here. Screamer goes for the. Uh, oh my god. Ah, no way. He... What we're stacking again, and yeah, oh, okay. only the low. Yeah, I thought it was some esoteric extension to a combo, but no, uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, no, let him cook, don't worry about it, extend with the mulligan. One zero in the second set, Zondo versus Tiger Pop. There's really no telling. Honestly, like if if I would bet money on someone, I really wouldn't know who to bet on. This is way too close for me, Lopsis. Then be like me and don't bet. Fair <laughs> I am not a betting man. I don't like that. I like having fun. I like that, but betting not for me. Thank you very much. Early now, burst. Early burst and set up with one star. Send go up a big counter for Tiger. Okay, is good, good defense as, as of right now by by Zando, but let's see for how much is going oh, to be That is can't huge. It. Yeah. <gasps> Unfortunately, the drop that could have actually just been it with that single combo. No, no form of bullets left. Has to reload with the RC. One bullet left. Yeah, that should be it. But still, is enough to kill. Still catch that that mana. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. hit there, let's see the, the juggle. Oh, juggle is not going to lock. Oh, misses the, 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 the yeah. other, gets the stock, and the deus ex machina. Bro, that 5D whiff is a bait. It's, it's always been a bait. Like, if you try to press, you're just gonna get hit with a bullet. Oh my god, just fishing for the counter hit with that gun. Oh my god, no way. Is that a burst? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's going to catch on, the, on those feet, that doesn't matter. No matter, you are not surviving that. And I'm one to one because. They're just jumping straight back into it. Hmm. It's very why respectable. Not? Yeah, exactly. Why not? Like, n none of these are gonna make a character sh a character uh, switch because it's been so even between these two. Dual one. Let's, Let's see how this round starts. We've seen early burst from both of these players. Just a back grab into the corner. This might just be dangerous territory. Yeah, you kind of have to burst right there. The six S counter hit is massive. Certainly it is. Now Tiger, no mana for for Sandon. Let's see how this thing is going to be. Not going to be good for not going to be good for Tiger yet yeah, because only gets one grab out of that. Sandon's defense completely on point at this situation. Oh, gets kept with a 5D. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to be it because Tiger really doesn't have any meter for super. No hard knockdown as either, but still. You have that positive bonus to lean onto, but doesn't matter the Goomba Stomp finishing it off. Oh. Tiger has been really on point of making those DPs as someone in, uh, as someone in chat pointed out, because not always. Zando just up sometimes to run up and DP without any sort of remorse at all. And it works up until, like, you know, Tiger just based that. So now Zando has to think about, oh, when am I going to DP? Especially now that he has that spell in deck. Hmm. Uh, fair. Any card that has a P, from then on we'll do a classic run up DP. Yeah. But this time Zando completely sped run through all the Tiger can do. 
Oh, it has those yellow cubes on deck. Oh, this is super good. Triple cube, but still, you cannot cast them if you don't have it in breathing room. Oh, he's so ready for those six piece using his head every single time just to get away from that. Oh, and he manages to sneak in a curse as well. Like, no, he knows those timings so well. He is completely cracked and now almost no more mana for Zando. Has to throw the cube just to get a, a small space. Go, go, for, go for a recharge, but now. Okay, we, we have Tiger Pass in the air. Let's see the version counter hit. Oh, there it is. The, the big cube is going to be more than enough. And certainly it is. 2 to 1 for, the, for Zando. In other situations, in any other situation, I would have almost counted out Zando's opponent, but since it is Tiger Puff, we've seen this back and forth. Every single round, like even in between rounds, these two players are getting ahead of each other in every single step. Like we see some small plays like Tiger Puff's 2 West into the curse in between the arpeggio. Like these small plays are what amounts to who is going to be the better player and come out on top this time. Because we're see I'm seeing new things every single round. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, what a confirm. Yeah, beautifully done, but Zendo boosting out. Uh, and now, oh! Stay on there, nope. We are both trading spaces and bursts. See the setup for both. Zendo has a lot of stuff, nothing that I don't think so, that's something he wants to see. And oh, Oof. gets the grab. 6 kilo, this is gonna be an extension to have. This is gonna do a lot of damage with that soup. Our knockdown on the side of the screen. We've been here time and time again. This is such a nice situation for Zondo, especially when Tiger has to be forced to block this arpeggio. And the cross up just works. Zando tournament point. Oh, and starting well for him. Counter hit and Tiger is going to go straight through the next wall with a with with a what went assault. Which means that Tiger has burst in a moment. Not now yet. There is there's, there's a burst. Zando is going to stack the deck against Tiger Burst now. Let's see if it's going to work. Oh no, the cube is going to sh shoot before that, which means that you can't capitalize on this situation and now Zando can just be there send a lot of crap tiger way oh my god and the side switch gonna go into the super deus ex knocking up what a side switch combo from tiger and this is exactly what he needed in this situation some breathing room like full resources on Zando but still Dangerous situation. Goes for Deus Ex Machina on Burst, but this can do so much damage, especially with no mana. Oh my goodness. And now. Oh, Zando. Beautiful RC forward. Gets a grab. Tries to recharge. Gets a counter hit. Oh my god, yeah, he manages first. first. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Once again, Tiger straight to the next to the next screen. Fast. Now okay, this time block block this position, gets the course, tries to do some shooting at it, but oh this time this one connects no mana. Trading life for ma for mana decision. What is the decision now? There's a gap. Knocked out. One cube oh my the God. second one block. Let's oh. see what's going to happen this one. Oh no. Oh no, no this might be it. Don't stop! Sound the drop in the combo! That's what cost him everything! There's a high chance that that's going to cost him a lot. Let's see how he can defense. It's another grab. Let's see that. There, there's that yellow. Yellow for Tiger. Reflect shield. Jump out is good. Deflection for Tiger now. Full screen. There's course. Two, two, so brave Go on, Tiger does the full on combo into the DSX Machina. I don't know if this actually kills. It does! So, game 5 it is. Game 5 it is. He stays alive! How are we still in this game?
Oh my! There's... Uh, what? This is not supposed to be happening! No! It is not! But it is happening! So yeah, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Game 5, Grand Finals, between two of the best on the NA scene. My heart rate is going at least 200 right now because this might be like top two sets or maybe even the best set I've ever seen during my Guilty Gear career. Like this is the most nuts I've ever seen these two players play. It's, co it's a complete overdose of Tiger and Zando. But now, back, back to the important Tiger. Yeah, Zando. exactly. Here on the next wall, you see that, that Deus Ex Machina. Full reaches on bullets, not quite dead on boost, and Barbat's going to be over in a moment. No mana, all the way more for, for Zanda, but that's not going to be enough. Yeah, Deus Ex Machina, oh. and now Tiger, tournament point. If Tyre continues the last round like this, there is nothing stopping this. Dual 2, let's rock tournament point for Tiger Pop. Oh my goodness. Just trying to play some neutral, the cube's clipping Tiger Pop even through that gun. The corner position for Zando is super, super important right now, especially with those full bursts. Goes for the super just to keep him in the corner. Has the BRC goes for the cross up. I don't know if this was a correct. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can talk here, so I'm going to take it up. Thank you, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, right now. Tiger is going for that shooting daddy. He's going to get Zando stuck onto the corner. There's an open boost off for Zando. Let's see. Some cubes there are even some more cubes there. They were more lingering cubes. RC for Tiger. Let's see that pressure in the air is for Tiger. More, more mana for Zando. Blue Bear misses it. That makes Tiger misses the trap. Full, full man again, 5k2d, gonna be a hard knockdown, gets away with the arpeggio through the super and blocks the 5d, I thought that was a hit, 100%, talking about not much life left, but still hanging on to a sliver of life. Zana's just one hit away, and there it is! Um, double Luigi, gentlemen, double Luigi for this fine tournament, and now, Zando, putting a lot of pressure on Tiger's side. Last Tiger. round, no, no matter who comes out on top, this is the last round where we're going to be playing this tournament. And Zando is on the offense right now. Tiger Pop not managing to block the 5D. This is going to be a full conversion into the wall break hard knockdown, of course! The Blue Wild Assault. This is such a dangerous situation. Any sort of combo could kill, especially with the Super. No, he opts to go for the Mulligan. Uh -oh. Oh, yeah, I guess the double arpeggio. Oh, oh. oh no, this might just be it! It, yeah, it, be it. it is. It is going to be it. It is it. It is it. It is it. There it is, it! Zando! Oh. The 99.8th edition of Zaltio! Wow! This, I'm not gonna lie, I said might be top two, but I cannot think of another set. Sets of set. Like, this has just been the best Guilty Gear I've seen ever, period. And everyone that has been here, all 145 of you, I think you can agree with me, because Zando taking this over so laborious versus Tiger Pop, and oh my goodness. Lapsus, what do you think? Uh, mm, yes. Uh, yeah, it's been a, a good full 10... 10 round match it's been completely bonkers but at the end it was game of inches and <laughs> or millimeters to be fair which is even mm. more accurate and Zando takes it at the end was completely yeah it was yeah today was very epic uh <laughs> <laughs> hey man, <laughs> it's the universal word. You can always just send it. Yeah, it yeah, always yeah. works. 
Yeah, today was good. We, you know, this grand final. I, I, this was genuinely a 30 minute grand final. <laughs> I was yeah. counting it. This was a 30 minute grand final. My expectation today is we were gonna close, we were gonna end before 11 or at 11. <laughs> but this grand final took 30 minutes. <laughs> so we are a bit oh, like behind schedule, you know, but it's okay. I'm not gonna hold you guys here any longer, or, you no, know, no since I, it's obviously very late, or for, for, for Zando, for example, it's very late also, so, you know, I'm gonna, yeah, again, say thank you everyone for helping out, claiming the codes, that is very, very kind of from everyone, you know, we claimed every single code, some people even contributed multiple times, and we had that $2 donation, so again, thanks everyone, and, uh, I'll see you, me personally, I'll see you on Friday with Exert. And next Monday, obviously, uh, Ace will have uh, Strive back since, you know, I was helping him out this week, just uh, holding it up for him since he was not available. So I'll see you all on Friday, and Ace will be back uh, with what actually is happening this week. Tomorrow is Blaze Blue. Mm. And after that, I'm not even mm -hmm. sure what is happening this week since. Uh, Street Fighter 6 is over, Ace might actually do final Tekken 7 event before Tekken 8, since, you know, when Tekken 8 drops, Salt is obviously gonna go hard uh, with mm. uh, with Tekken, since, you know, this it is still the main game of Salt. Yep. <laughs> and Technically. Let me, let me see, just, I already found someone who I'm gonna send you guys off to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got the top 8 image right here, uh, here, so I'm gonna post it on Twitter tonight or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. Probably gonna just chill tonight so you're gonna get it tomorrow on twitter but yeah uh that's it for me again thank you very much you two for helping out on the commentary you can see mm -hmm. their twitters right under their names nicely so go drop them a follow you know sick commentary as always and yeah so again it's been me Raj with no Never mind. I was hoping you. you I, oh. was, I was. I was. I was hoping you drop your own names. It's okay. He was kind of and. It's okay. It's okay. We've we've lapses and we've mastered them. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. 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 bye.